Hey there, Fear, back at it again with another Twitch VOD from the 24th of January, 2022. It was Mount Farm Monday. Um, mounts were got. Plural, but I'm not gonna tell you how many. You have to watch to find that out, but no. Um, it was a really good night. We're just super chill, nice and relaxed. Lots of different conversational topics. Um, yeah, just, just nice. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it's chill. I hope you can play it in the background and just sort of do, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm tired. I need sleep. You can catch me live from 4pm Australian Eastern Standard Time, that's Brisbane Australia time, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. Uh, heading into February, heading into February, there'll be a lot of random streams. I highly recommend you checking out twitch.tv forward slash vrma forward slash schedule. Uh, to just like tack a slash schedule on the end of my URL and, and you'll get that. And it'll convert it all to your time zone, which is super freaking handy, especially if you're not in Australia. Um, but uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And I will see you in the next one. Hi. Welcome back. Hope you're all well. Shall we do a battle? And then we'll do some mounts. We'll start with the battle. Uh, where is this one? Okay. Uh, oh, we've only got one choice anyway. Brilliant! Let's do that one. Happy Monday. I hope everyone's doing incredibly well. Uh, ooh. Okay. Uh, so I'm just leveling things, I think. Uh, but I have a quest I can turn in. And now I have to place archers. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> totally fine. Place those units. Click the link in chat. Log in with your Twitch account. And then just drag and drop your units to the battlefield. Super simple. Nice and easy. Uh, give me a second. Just closing out of a few things. Because I did not realize I still had them open. Good. Alright, so I'm starting on my alliance tune today. Uh, and we're going to start off in Najatar, and I'm pretty sure today's the day that we get Hunter Arcana's mount. I think. I think today's the day. And I think that means that we also get the Horde version. But I can't quite remember. We'll see, won't we? We'll do the thing, and we'll see how we go. Well done, Zem, on first. Well done, Yori, on last. Oh, Yori, you still have that coas. Um, text command, redemption as well. So feel free to shoot me through a DM telling me what you want that to say as well, and I can get that done for you. Um, well done to BC on second. Hello, Fuzz. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Hello, Little. Welcome back. Well done on third lander. I fear how's things? Yeah, things are okay. Things are not too bad. I'm a bit tired. My skills once uh, <laughs> to my clan. Now done a lot of work over the last few days, so I'm just a bit kind of zonkerated. But overall, I think I'm pretty okay. Uh, so what did this do? This is Hagrenar's head. So let's go do... Actually, no. Let's go grab this one first, because it's closer. Hello, Shiba. Hey, Yori. Still alive and hopefully well after three days of streaming. Yeah, look, I mean, it's fucking practice, ain't it? Because I did I did the math, and apparently in February I'm going to be streaming 18 days straight consecutively, not not 18 days like in a big chunk, like as in 18 days consecutively for a couple of hours at least a day. So, look, if I can't do four days, how the fuck am I gonna do 18? <laughs> <laughs> I have a demon progress here. Oh, fantastic. Okay, awesome. Just gonna say it's good practice. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. I know I'm, I, I, like, one of the big things I really want to get, like, done is a shitload of food prep so that I don't have to worry about food. There's just one thing off the list that I don't have to think about, um, which will be very nice. And then 
beyond that, um, I'm really, I'm fucking petrified that, uh, cause I'm in a rental, right? I, I rent, uh, Jess and I rent the apartment. I, I have this, this sinking feeling that somewhere in the first three or four days, I'm going to get an email from the landlord telling us that we're going to have an inspection and they only have to give us seven days notice. So I feel like they're going to tell us somewhere near the start, which means it's going to be during Lovers in the Air that we have the inspection. So I kind of want to get the place to like inspection levels of clean before it kicks off, just in case. And then all I have to do is kind of maintain it and maintaining takes a lot less time than like proper cleaning, as most people will know. Um, so yeah, I think that's kind of where I'm at. Hey Landa, took my small dog on a road trip to the beach today, reactive typically. Pack some high value treats, cheese and sausage, you wonderfully, yay! Felt really good to see him recalling and ignoring other dogs, brilliant! Oh, that's awesome. Alright, I need to do another one. So there's the one over there, break, break a few eggs, so let's go do that. Um, assuming the mount doesn't drop. Exactly. Assuming the mount doesn't drop, which at the moment, um, like I kind of feel like planning for the worst case scenario is the best idea, like the best thing to do. What I've also recognized is that my normal streams are six hours, right? So on a normal stream day, for example, a Monday, I'm going to log in. We're going to start stream. We're going to do the heartbreaker runs, but it's going to last under three hours. It's not going to take me three hours unless the, the queue times are absolutely trash. It's going to take under three hours to do the, the runs, right? But it's a six hour stream. So I have planned something to take the rest of the stream. So if, if it drops and I cancel the rest of my heartbreaker runs, Whatever it means that like the Tuesday, play. Thursday, Saturday streams will go. Good. Which will be good because I'll have days off, my god. I cannot do those, but then the streams that I'm still doing, my regular streams, still have something there that I can just extend to take the whole six hours rather than just the three hours at the end of stream. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. So yeah, I, I think I'm in a good place with planning. Um, I sent off an email today because there's one, there's one person who may have information for me that could have a massive effect on, on February in general. So I, I've emailed them to, to see if I can get that information just so I can plan around it. But um, yeah, so just wait for a response on that and I'm good to go. Good to lock everything in. Good afternoon, guys. the 50 booties. Thank you, Dunno. Much appreciated. Chef Squirt, you look. <laughs> oh dear. That was a lot of fun, wasn't it? A lot of fun. <laughs> Definitely suits a shorter stream though. Not something that I would feel comfortable stretching out to a six hour again, I don't think. But um, it was good fun. That's for sure. I think it just kind of gets to the point where um, it's just a bit much for people doing it for that long. They need to get up, they need to get away from the pit. Like, you don't, um, like, I know you all take breaks, and I know I take breaks and stuff, but I seem to, like, there's, there's other things going on. You can't just, like, sit there and glue yourself to, even if it's a movie, it's not even going to be, like, three hours long, you know? So six hours. People are going to get up and walk away, they're going to drop out for a few rounds, and then it just so happens that everyone drops out for the same round, and then it's like, well, fuck. So it's, you know, all that kind of stuff just factors in, and it's, yeah. Um, not the best game for an extended stream, I don't think, like for a regular length, one of my streams. But shorter streams? Absolutely. You bet your fucking ass it's going to come back when I'm recovering from surgery. When I can't stream six hours because I'm on painkillers and shit, I will absolutely be making use of that. I am grateful. Ah, oh, Badger! Thank you so much for the donation! Oh my gosh! Thank you! Found these laying about with your name on it! So I thought I'd just hand them over before going to bed. Oh, Badger, thank you so much for the donation. That is so kind of you. So generous. Thanks so much. I hope you're having a lovely day. 
Oh, I think I'm gonna finish off my lore master tonight. Oh, that's so exciting. That's so good. I really hope it does. I hope, I hope you do. I really hope you do. Hang on, am I doing a quest or am I? No, I haven't even picked up the quest. This is a world quest that I'm doing. Oh, for God's sake. This is what happens when I don't concentrate, you guys. Everything goes wrong. Oh, um, makeup today. Um, I've realized that the, um, the camera does not quite do it justice. Um, so... I need to kind of explain what's going on a little bit. Um, the, the, col the major colors here are orange and brown. I know it doesn't look orange and I know you can't see the brown. But the main colors here are orange and brown. Um, so the shade that I've got in my crease is a, it's like a neon orange. Like the one that I ended up, like it's, it looked very different when I swatched it. It's gone a little bit pinky, like a little bit red toned. Um, but it's like a, a neon orange that's a little bit darker though. It's not a super like, um, not like a really yellow orange. It's more of a red orange. Um, and so what the camera has done, as we all know, the camera cannot figure out yellow. Um, so it's leaned heavily into the red. So it's coming across far more like a neon red, um, which is okay-ish, but it is, it is meant to be like a red toned orange. Um, there is actually dark brown in the outer corner here, but, um, I guess the dark brown that I chose isn't as pigmented as the oranges and so it's gotten a little bit washed out. Um, but it looked great when I put it on and then I put the shimmer on my lid and it just disappeared. And I was like, oh, okay, sure, that's fine. Um, but then yeah, the, the shade on my lids, it's, again, it's an orange, but it's a very, very shimmery orange. And the shine of it, like when the light hits it, it almost reflects kind of like a gold. And so again, because it has that yellow reflect, the, the camera gets a little bit confused. Um, so we've got like that neon, neon orange kind of shade and then like a, um, a, a really gorgeous kind of golden orange. And then you are, you can see the brown when it's full screen. You just can't really see it when it's um like itty bitty little in the corner. Um, yeah, I own it. It's a ground mount. Good. All right. Uh, where's this quest, this actual quest that I'm supposed to accept? <laughs> Fuck. No, and then it's down. Oh, it's here. I see it. Brave of you to join our cause. Mm. The tune that was doing Ice Crown is 15 hours. I'm going to fly through that, then maybe finish Deep Home. But that one I'm actually leveling, so we should see how close. Yeah, of course, of course. Oh my god, I can't believe you're so close, Yuri. That's so exciting for you. You must be so, like, just over the moon. I know how I felt on Sunday. Yesterday? That was yesterday. Look, it's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> I know how I felt yesterday capping it off. It's just like this this sense of excitement, but also relief. Like, oh my god, it's done. <laughs> like, it's finished. Good. Um, concentration in this economy? Never. Never. Uh, no, I'm late. No, you're not late, fairy. We've only been live for a few minutes. You're fine. You're totally fine. I mean, fuck, I was late, so it's fine. Red brown Drannel Wolf, <laughs> no. Uh, Bristling Hellborn, no. Flamesaber, no. Uh, yeah, but now I'm like, where do I level? I hate Frostfire, I've decided. Well, I mean, you could level Alliance tunes. Shadow Moon's actually, honestly, has become one of my favorite leveling zones. Maybe it's because I didn't do it much at I all sun well. before. So now it's like, oh. Ah, Meaty, thank you so much for the resub. Amber Scorpion, yes. Yep, it's the Amber Scorpion. Thank you so much for the resub. I'm not just saying it because you, you subbed to say it. That's not, not at all. It's actually, it was actually the Amber Scorpion. 
I was going to do, um, I was going to try doing the brown in the crease and then do the, the neon orange in the corner, but it just, when I, when I swatched the, the two oranges next to each other on my hand, I'm like, this is, it's going to look like trash. It's going to look like I've been punched in the face. Um, so I switched them around and I think I, li I like this look a lot better. But again, the, like, I mean, the colors aren't quite balanced as to what they're supposed to be, but fuck it. I don't care. It's art. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have a number from you? From, or between one and a hundred. Hey! Perfect. So, Arcana's giving me a quest. Accept a gift from your companion. Complete quest. Mount Get. <laughs> Fucking A. Alright. Hunter Arcana is complete. Um... Set this to recur. I have good, so I can delete that subtask because it's finished. Um, so that's six thirty-two. Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> we go. I've been tweeting a lot lately. Hey. Um, that should also get me 633, because I believe you unlock the equivalent on Horde side when that happens as well. Um, so that's tasty. But I'll have to double check. Um... Should be fun? Yes, so yes, happy with the Alliance side of what? Of course! <laughs> Flame Talon of Alistra. Yep, sure. <laughs> yeah, it's very vibrant orange in the map picture. Yes, yeah, it is a very vibrant orange. That's why. I, that's why I went with the neon because I'm like, oh yes, let's make it bright. Um, and then it went red, so that's fine. Uh, <laughs> sure, it's okay. Uh, let's go here. the mount that has like 20 different colors if I remember correctly. Um, this one. It this one. It's not neon. It's not a glowy orange but I don't care. It was fun to do. Alright um, so I've turned that in. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna head to- so what I, what I did, you'll be proud of me, what I did um, after last Monday's stream I went through all of the, um, I went through all of the, um, like I know I'm getting up to island expeditions. That I know that's where I was getting up to. So I, I looked at all, I made a list of all the mounts up to and including the island expedition one. And then I sorted them out. So I figured like, you know, do all the alliance ones first, even though it's like first on the list and then seventh on the list and all this kind of shit. Um, got all the Alliance ones first, and then I took the Horde ones, and I, like, I've got Lost Razorwing Egg, then Malbog, because it's in fucking Corthia, then the Covenant Assault, because that's in the Moor and that's bloody close, then both of the Paragon Mounts for Legion, then porting to Tolbarad, and then porting back to do Islandix. So it's all kind of made more efficient. So hopefully... Where the fuck is the door in this place? I'm not even taking the door. I need the... Where's the portal to Stormwind? There we go. Um, no, I am here! This is fucking... It's fine. I'm so disoriented. It's great. Um, so I've tried to make it a little more efficient. So hopefully we'll get to island expeditions sooner. But we will see. We will see. 22. Okay. There's me here. We have seven days to die. Enjoy. Today you're going to read the Scenarian War Hippogriff. Because that mount makes me happy. And those who would seek to abuse it for their own ends, you've got to stop them. It's an interesting set of colours, hey. It is quite nice. Uh, oh, this is where I'm supposed to be anyway. Good. Hmm. <clears throat> It has weird different brown armor plates and green and red saddle. It's weird. It's it's an interesting combo of colors, that is for sure. It is. So I kind of just went with like the most identifiable bits and hoped for the best. 
And it seemed to work, because that was guessed really fucking quickly. So I'm happy about that. Oh, so how have your Mondays been? How's everybody going? Bruce's first man actually, if I actually got by myself as a wee kiddo running those dungeons over and over for the rep, was it the- Oh, Exalted, yeah. That's super sweet. I can't believe how many fucking mounts I have now. It's- this is- it's like it's getting... It's getting interesting. I wonder if we're actually gonna cross off all the mounts on the list and end up just doing islands again. Before the island mount drops. It's a race. <laughs> it's a race. Fear doesn't want to do six hours of island expeditions again. So please drop before we get to that point. I mean, I've got a lot to cross off on the list. So there's Exalted with Storm's Wake. There's Exalted with Order of Embers. I think... I think I'm getting the Lost Razorwing Egg mount today. I think. Uh, then there's Malbog, which I feel like is going to take a while because I'm pretty sure that's a 1 in 100 drop rate. Uh, then there's the Covenant Assault. There are four of them. And each week, each Mount Farm Monday, we're going to cycle through all four, then all four again, then all four. So, like, I think it's going to be a long time before I take that off. And they're, like, a 1 in 100 as well. So I think it's going to be a long time before I drop any of those off the list. Um, then there's High Mountain Paragon, which... That's probably, you know, maybe maybe that's going to be sooner rather than later. And then Unshackled, which I don't think the BFA ones were increased in drop rate, so. Ah! This is the last one for the pet. This is day, this is day seven for Bumbles. Uh, and then Tolbarad, which is, I'm, I'm, I'm weeks away from that one. But that's kind of a set date when that one's going to be finished on all before kind of thing because of um because of the tokens like it's you know uh and then island expeditions so look that's that'll be a time it'll be a time um lol after our discussion about zombie games <laughs> yeah look it it look you it, the universe knew the universe knew might be sitting out on islands tonight, depending on if I get what I want to get done, done. Of course, priorities are important. I understand that. Totally. Totally and completely. <clears throat> Does the Kyrian drop amount from assaults in the moor? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm, it might be a toy or something different. I kind of assumed they did because I had the other three on my list, but I'm guessing it may not. I'm not too sure. Um, War Chest of the Undying Army, so that's Necrolord. Mysterious Gift from Venari. War Chest of the Wild Hunt, that's your Night Fae. Harvester's War Chest, is that the... That's the Venthyr one. Is Razor Wing, Death Advance, Fallen Charger, Tormentors, and Death Advance Supplies. So maybe not. No, it doesn't look like it does. Well, there you go. Sorry, three out of four then. Oh well, not much of a difference. <laughs> Close enough. Um, good evening, Duke. No two pets though. There you go. Well, it's not. Unfortunately, it's not Pet Farm Monday. So if it is Kyrian, then I'll be skipping it for the week. But um, the other three are all on the list. So. I just just off the rails lately and it sucks. Well, that, that's not good. No good at all. I don't mind myself. Day. No, um, that's the way that Twitch replies actually work. It shows you the first message in the chain, not the one you're replying to. Yes, you're right. It is completely stupid, but that's how it works, unfortunately. Hello, Jackie. How you going? Welcome back. How many files do I have? Five.
I've been having cravings. Like a, a proper cheeseburger today. I don't know why. Like cheeseburger, cheese, mustard, ketchup, onion, pickles. Like seriously craving. I think we're having steak tonight. I think we're having steak for dinner. So that's not too bad. Same animal, I guess. <laughs> mm, can you? Yeah, I'm doing all right. A bit tired, a bit run down. But um, overall, I'm doing okay. Kind of at a loss for exactly what to have the chaos command say. I didn't want it to be too long. I wanted to have it as a short explanation on why it's coas. Daddy says I need my sea legs, but I've already mm. got two legs. Interesting. I mean, like, you could have something like chaos. Nah, coas. Like, you know, having that kind of link be there or something. Um, there may or may not be a coas emote on the way. Um, so, like, we could slot that in there somewhere, I reckon. How do I actually get Bumbles now that I've got the achievement? Or does it just drop it into your, um, pet journal? N no. Alright. Get the puppy. Do you have to come back another day or something? I like tortolans. You must do. Mailbox? Ah, uh, okay, wait, no, Thaumaturge Vashreen. That's not. for the chaos, stay for the coas. Been craving food that needs chewing. I know you've, oh fucking oath. Yeah, I know what, I know that feeling. As long as you're brilliant. Okay, awesome, sweet. Lost item, bullshit. You have a great day now. Cool, all right. I don't even have to go up there today. Brilliant, I can just stick around here. It's gonna make things much quicker. Wonderful. Thank you for um, t uh, telling me to check the mail. Much appreciated. All of you. Both of you. Etc. Um, yeah, where's the beef? Yeah, it's, I, it, honestly, it is Maccas that I'm craving. Um, but we can't really do Maccas. It, I mean, we can, but Jas can't have the beef from Maccas. And if if I'm going, like if we are going, what's the, you know, and if we and if he has to get a chicken burger, then we'll just go to KFC because they have better chicken burgers. So yeah, it's um, yeah, we don't do macas very often. Like he's fine doing the breakfast stuff because he can just get a bacon and egg McMuffin, um, or and hash browns and shit. But um, the the beef patties, not so much. Um, um, I wonder, I wonder how much convincing it would take to get Jas to put a fucking scotch fillet steak on a burger bun. <laughs> oh god, he'd hate me. He'd hate me so much. It'd be hilarious though. Nah, it's not this like... You, you can't, like, I'm not a fan of steak sandwiches because steaks have that, like, grain to them that you can't, like, you, when you bite into them, you've got to kind of peel the grain away. Like, it doesn't work to me. It, ne it needs to be, like, a, a patty, like a ground beef patty, so you can bite straight through it and then it just comes away cleanly, you know? Um, not a fan of steak sandwiches. This is your end. There is a place... Oh, it's not really near us. There, There is a place I have been to once that does, uh, like, they do Philly cheesesteaks. Uh, and that kind of, like, chopped up steak 
totally fine because you bite into the sandwich and it comes away cleanly and you have a mouthful of diced steak. That's fine. Um, but if it's like a solid hunk of meat that kind of covers the whole sandwich, then yeah, no, it needs to be ground beef. Uh, I still have the best steak sandwiches done with sizzle steaks so or minute steaks. Oh yeah, absolutely they are. But even then, you still kind of have to sort of tear at it to get it out too many times. Even if it's even if the meat is perfectly cooked, you can't just bite through it and have it completely come apart. You end up pulling, like shifting the rest of the steak inside the sandwich, trying to get the piece you've bit out. Um, and there have been times where it's been a little bit, a little bit overdone and the whole fucking steak has just come out and smacked me in the chin. And I'm like, good, this is exactly what I wanted. Spoiler alert, it was not exactly what I wanted. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm not, I'm not really here for the steak sandwiches. Um, no judgment to anyone who is, obviously, everyone has different preferences and stuff like that and I'm never gonna, that's totally okay. More for you, right? If I don't like it, more for you. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's just, um... Oh, excuse me. It's a thing. Oh, wow, that, that felt really quick. So I think I know the place you're talking about. Yeah, they're awesome from that place. See, the one that I had wasn't. It wasn't. Like, I haven't been back because it just, it was like a... Maybe we aren't talking about the same place because it, it was just, like, the bread was kind of soggy. It was like 12 or 13 dollars or even more and it was about this sort of size. And it just... It didn't, it didn't hit right. And I'm guessing that Philly cheesesteaks are made with fake cheese traditionally because they had fake cheese on it and it just, I don't know. It was, it was not what I was hoping to get. The onion rings are good though. Love a good onion ring. Fucking adore a good onion ring. Ah, oh, fillet steak sandwich rare. Good morning, Phoenix. This food talk remind me that I'm responsible for cooking tonight. Oh no. Oh no. <clears throat> I want to get back into like bulk meal prep, like buying a month's worth of food at once and spending a few hours just chopping things and putting them in. You know those giant Ziploc bags? I used to do, um, I used to like chop up all these veggies and meat and stuff, pop them all in a massive Ziploc bag and then freeze it and then like week off or day off, you just un like you defrost it, unzip it and dump it in the soy cooker. But it's just, I think it's too hot at the moment to have like stews and slow cooked meals and stuff. It's just too warm. Um, but I'm really looking forward to when we get a little chilly again. Because it's one of my favorite things to do because you don't have to think about food for the entire month. Uh, congratulations to Little Mid and Dupe on all your bonus shit. Well done. Uh, good day, bad day there maybe. Or yeah, different tastes, possibly, possibly. Yeah, it just, it seemed really small. Uh, and not worth the price and just not much on it and the bread was soggy and it just the whole thing was just a bit kind of like I feel like if I you know those frozen um you get them in like at, at uh convenience stores and stuff like that you can you get like a frozen like a chicken roll except you could get like a frozen steak roll it kind of felt like I could have gotten one of those and stuck it in the microwave and then put a slice of plastic cheese on it and I would have gotten something pretty close like that do you know what I mean that it just it was that disappointing and when I get that kind of disappointing and it costs me you know close to $15 I am not going back because <laughs> if I'm gonna spend 15 bucks on something I want it to be something I can't make myself for, for you know $2.75 <laughs> But it may well have just been a different place. Um, is it possible to have a bad onion ring? Yes. Yes. If they're not crunchy. Or if they don't use a tempura batter. I've had like crumbed onion rings before. And they just, like there was a little bit of crunch, but not enough crunch. And it just... 
it just the whole thing felt a little bit doughy. Um, it needs to be like it needs to be like a tempura batter, like a proper or a beer batter, beer batter or a tempura batter. Um, and it needs to like literally shatter and threaten to cut your gums. It needs to be like crunchy. Um, and not soggy. Not soggy. I am. I love onion rings. Like, if there is onion rings on the menu, I will order them over fries, like every time. Um, which upsets Jas because he doesn't really like them as much, and we usually get like something each and then share the chips. <laughs> so if there's onion rings on the menu, we usually get chips and onion rings. Um, but yeah. I made some awesome onion rings with sourdough. Discard as the batter. They tasted great and were quick to make. Oh, wow. That sounds awesome. I began adjusting my eating habits recently, got a massive deep freeze. I want to fill with meal prep meals, but no idea where to start. Yep, I did the same thing. I bought a, a chest freezer um, with the plan and filling it with meal prep. And you know how many times I've done it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really bad at it. Really, really really bad. But I wanna, I wanna kinda, wanna give it another go, like get going on it. Cause um, it's so, like it can be so much cheaper as well to like bulk buy and stuff. I need to find a free weekend and uh, take a trip to uh, Costco. Uh, and just stock up. I think that's what I need to do. <clears throat> we have a couple of, of friends who have memberships who have offered uh, to take us as like a trial run and then if it goes well and I, I can find everything I need and I'm happy with everything and, and we we actually use everything and we utilize the, the chest freezer properly and all that kind of stuff then we can kind of justify investing in our own membership sort of thing but um yeah i need to find a fucking free weekend because i mean as much as you know we go grocery shopping every weekend we we get a week's worth of groceries and it's good because nothing goes bad we use everything up We're, we've gotten really really good at using up what's in the pantry um like our our pantry our freezers are empty except for what we've bought for this week um freezers are completely empty um and my pantry is about a third as full as it was six months ago because I've just been like I've you know we're going through and I'm like what is what is this how do I use this okay I'm gonna use that let's make that this week uh, and then I use it up and then I go on to the next creature sitting in the pantry and figuring out how to use that that's why I've been making these fucking cake mix cookies because I've got so many goddamn sprinkles <laughs> that I'm I'm trying to use up sprinkles and sprinkles are not a common ingredient for lunchtime affair let me let me tell you uh, <laughs> um, but the good news is when I make a batch of cookies and I leave them out to cool, I'll have one. Jas has five. Uh, and then by the time I wake up the next morning and Jas has gone to work, there is like two left. So, so I eat one and, and then when he gets home, he's like, oh, a cookie. And then it's gone. So, so um, they disappear in a matter of like a day. Um, so that's nice. Uh, at least I know they're good, right? Scouts at least I know they're good. In this area. But, uh... Kill it. Yeah. A bigger problem. So yeah, I would really like to like stock the freezer up with veggies and meat and stuff like that. That would be good. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'm the same. Curry stews are winter food, too hot and heavy for summer. Yep, I I agree. I agree. I do a lot of uh, like meat and three veg, like meat and steam veggies for in summer, just because like I I can't be fucked making salads and salad ingredients go bad so quickly and it just 
yeah, look, it's a whole thing. I'd love to do more salads, but I just, I can't. Ugh. Um, so yeah, we end up doing a lot of like just meat and steam veg with a, with a tasty sauce on the side or something like that. I've been making sauce with, uh, cause I've got coconut yogurt for my breakfast and I've been making so like a lot of sauces with coconut yogurt. Um, just because they're so fucking easy to do literally just like a tablespoon like a couple of scoops of of coconut yogurt in a like a cup or a ramekin or whatever the fuck you've got handy a small container uh, a good hefty squeeze of lemon juice like I've got a bottle of lemon juice like pre-squeezed lemon juice because lemons just go bad in my fridge I don't like I can't be fucked right <laughs> on a budget yeah <laughs> so squeeze a lemon juice uh, a good thwack of minced garlic from the jar don't know how much just a lot uh, and then fuck loads of salt. Like, like not fuck loads. Not enough, not so much that it tastes like salt, but just enough to bring it to life. Uh, and I've started, I found a jar of um, Dijon mustard as well in the fridge, like at the back of the fridge, that's still well within date. And I'm like, fuck, I need to use this up. So I've been adding that to the, uh, uh, to the sauce as well. And I just kind of stir it real good. And it's delicious. You put it on fucking anything. It's amazing. Because uh, Jas makes um, coconut yogurt uh, tzatziki with like diced up, like teeny tiny diced cucumber and stuff, and it's delicious. And so that's what I got the idea from. And I just kind of took that without, without the chopped veggies so as a base right. and, and went from there. It's really good. Much recommend. I'm assuming you could do it with Greek yogurt as well, um, but I've got coconut yogurt because I'm, I'm trying to be as AIP as I can. I'm definitely not AIP. We're, we're trying to use up shit in the pantry at the moment, so it's not AIP. But, um, you know, if I can use an ingredient that's AIP, then I will. Um, even soggy onion rings still taste nice, though. Uh, yeah, but texture's a big thing. Texture's a big thing. They're, they're okay. They're okay, but I much prefer, like, a hot, crunchy onion ring. But you you are right. They still taste good, but they're just not, like... They're not the bomb. I had nasty, super greasy onion rings, and it was so gross. Bit into it and just mouthful of oil. Oh, I'm so sad. They're soggy because of a nice sauce, obviously. Yeah, soggy because of oil is weird. Exactly, yeah. So like soggy because of oil is gross and weird. No one likes that. No one wants that, exactly. Back in 2020, according to my Google photos. Ah, there you go. There you go. Um, These tiny crabs need help. I hate sounds like the meat substitute burger I had from Macca's. Would you be willing to Discord? Go for it, go for it. A free weekend still a thing? Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> I actually did some, some looking and my next free Saturday, cause my Sundays are never free, right? Cause of stream. Yeah. Um, so my next free Saturday is the 12th of February. Except it's not free. Technically. It may, I, I have no other plans, right? Except it's midway through Lovers in the Air. So I'm going to be doing runs that day. And it's also the day after my birthday. So I presume something will be happening there. Which reminds me, the Lovers in the Air runs are going to be very interestingly timed. Um, there isn't going to be Saturdays will be at this time and blah, blah, blah. It's no. Um, regular streams, like the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, they're all going to be at the appropriate times, except for one day. Um, but everything else is going to be when I can. Um, which, there is, a, there is a schedule for it. I'm going to be sticking to times, but it won't be the same time every day. So it'll be in the schedule panel on Twitch. So twitch.tv forward slash Fiamma forward slash schedule. Everything will be in there. It's just that you may not be able to rely on me going live at the same time every day. Um, because it's just a bit fucked. Uh, <laughs> so look, it's, that's the thing. You'll, you'll survive, I'm sure. Um, we've had the freezer. So if, if we don't, okay. So, um, let's have a look. Where's my calendar? Let's have a squiz, shall we? This weekend, plans. Next weekend, plans. So this weekend is lunch plans, but kind of like extended lunch plans. Next weekend is lunch plans. Uh, the 12th of February. There will be a uh, Heartbreaker stream, as well as I'm going to assume some kind of turn off the social media and celebrate my birthday sort of evening. Because, <laughs> you know, like it's all, it's all, it's lovely being able to celebrate with you guys, but I also want to celebrate like with my real life peeps. 
Yep. Cool. Um, then the 19th of February is the weekend that my mommy and my stepdad are visiting, hopefully. So that's not free. Um, then there's the 26th of February, which is my six year stream anniversary marathon stream. Probably. It's not locked in stone yet, but that's where it's like heavily penciled in. Then there's the 5th of March. And that apparently currently is free. Fuck my life. <laughs> ah! I need sleep, you guys. I need sleep. I... Every hand helps. Seize grant your favor. It's fine. It's fine. I love not having a day off for two months. It's fine. <laughs> I better get this fucking mount. I'll tell you what. Ah! Oh, um. Whew. We've had the freezer for a while, mostly to store food for the puppers. It just feels like a waste lately. Yeah, totally fair. Absolutely Ooh. fair. I, I feel you. Costco is awesome recently. They've had trouble getting in some Kirkland stuff from the USA. Uh, yeah, it's it's mostly like just the bulk buying stuff that I'm in. Like, it's... I, I'm not... Like, I know that Costco is really famous for like a whole lot of like specialty items and stuff like that. But I don't... As long as they've got... Like, what I would love to do is fill up my chest freezer. Uh, or not fill it, because that would cost me probably thousands. I've got a, a fairly decently sized one. Um, Jas and I fit in my deep freezer, um, so it's big. Um, so I would like to, I'd like to get some stock in there, like some, some actually, st like some stuff in there. Um, it'd be good because I'd like to not have to do. Because if I could not do grocery shopping for a few weeks, it's just one less thing I have to do every week, which gives me a few hours spare. To, to to get other shit, you know, just maybe just sit on my ass. Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice? But we'll see. Um, just me. So our freezer is half full of dog food too. Sprinkles on ice cream. I don't really do ice cream. Um, and that's that's a shitload of ice cream to be eating just to use up a, a, a like a lot of sprinkles. Like it's I've got a lot of sprinkles. Um, like a lot of sprinkles. I think we're at about half a kilo now, or down to about half a kilo of sprinkles now. Um, it was because of Fairy Bread Day. Um, I helped them raise some funds for Fairy Bread Day, and so, um, in order to do that, I got a Fairy Bread kit, uh, which came with four different packs of sprinkles. Um, all in all, it was about a kilo, um, of sprinkles. So, um, I'm down to about half a kilo now so that that's a shitload of ice cream and that's a hell of a lot of sugar that i don't really want to be ingesting but i can put maybe like two to three bowls of spring like bowl, two to three bowls of ice cream worth of sprinkles into a single cookie um so and jas eats them like it's nobody's business uh, and cookies are a lot easier to put in a box and send to work with jas to share with his colleagues um, so I don't eat as much sugar, whereas ice cream is not as easy to do. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's, uh, I've basically I found, so if you get a box of cake mix, um, and you ignore the instructions, you add two eggs and a third of a cup of oil, vegetable oil, uh, and then you mix it up and then you add as many sprinkles as you can fit. Uh, and then you mix it up again uh, and you put like tablespoon drops. You don't, like it says in the recipe to like roll them into a ball, but it's just, no, it's too messy for that. Um, so if you like just scrape a tablespoon's worth onto onto a, sil uh, like a silpat, silicon baking sheet um, and pop them in the oven for literally seven minutes and they come out as the most perfect soft baked cookies you've likely had for a while. Um, and it's super fucking cheap and super, super easy. 
Um, so yeah, it's um, that's what I've been doing, and it's been working really well. So I think we'll keep going with that for now, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. I, I have a feeling once we're out of sprinkles, Jazz is going to ask me to make them with something else in them anyway. Ah, uh, no free question mark. Uh, I do the sale in a bag these days. Two, three serves, taste enough and cheapish. Fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, my name is goddamn pizza in America. It was literally grease with some bread, cheese, and pepperoni at it. Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. I had a bit to the kid list apart. Brilliant. Hey, Osa. How are you? Not too bad. Uh, tired, but I mean, I'm always tired, so what the fuck is new? How are you going? I hope you're having a lovely day. Does Fia need sleep? Always. Always. How do you know you both fit in the freezer? How do you think, Beauty? How do you think? No, um, when I was cleaning it, um, like I turned it off and let it defrost and drain and all that kind of stuff. When I was cleaning it, um, it was really hurting my hips, leaning on the edge of it and leaning in to, to clean the bottom and stuff. So Jazz kind of helped me by not not like grabbing my ankles and, and suspending me, but kind of lifting me up off the edge of it and sort of helping me lean over. And so there was more than enough space for me to be in there. And I could pretty much pull my knees to my chest and there was a whole half a freezer next to me. So yeah, uh, <laughs> it's, it's large. It's large. Uh, 6.32, indeed, indeed. I think it's actually 6.33 because I think that one counts the, uh, the horde one on the other side as well. But I'll have to, like, I'll have to log into fear and then log out again and force an update to double check. Um, hang on, what did I miss here? <laughs> yes, for the colleagues, uh-huh, uh-huh. Mm, Fia does now have merch. And she's gonna add more to it very soon when she has a spare moment to breathe. Uh, just here to place. Yes. She leaves him on the bench. The fuck do you think I'm gonna do? Have some self control. You can't say no, they're there to be eaten. PSA don't heal a 10 SD as a 183 miss even noted. I shan't. I wasn't planning to anyway, but I, d I doubly won't now, now that you've recommended it, Jack. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, that does a ton of damage. Okay, noted. I've just been killing them normally because I can, but um, it turns out that sack of flour or whatever the hell it is does a shitload of damage. That's fun. I'm only at 31% ice crown, which is one more zone today. Oh no! Although if you've maxed level, it should go a lot faster now, right? Uh, I still DPS to stop standing. Crap, SD doesn't hit the tank that hard. The tank was 203. Ooh, 34th attempt on the caged bear. Darkshaw one, still nothing. One in 20 chance, my ass. Which? Oh, Darkshaw. I was like, my brain was thinking Dark Moon. I'm like, what pets drop on Dark Moon? Um, cool. So that's Storm. Storm's Wake done. Where are we at? Yeah, no, I shouldn't have checked. Uh, <laughs> I'm miles away. Um, we're gonna go here, I think, because that's gonna be the closest one, and we're gonna hook down through here, and then, although, I think the Soul Goliath is one that I can't do, and then hook up to there, uh, and then we'll be hearthing and switching to fear. But we have to log into fear, and then log out, and then refresh DFA to see if it bumps me up to 230, uh, 223, uh, 224, wait, no, 223. <laughs> 623. Fucking Jesus Christ. Brain splat. Okay. Brain splat. Good. Good. Spikes hurt. That's not a good time. Sweetie, I think Spikes are fast track to Umland. <laughs> Umland. Sounds fancy. Turn that off, I think. Oh, so I take it you're home, Jess. <clears throat> and I got sauce! Yay! Did you, did you, did you do that thing that I suggested and put your phone on Bluetooth in your car and open up the Twitch app and listen to stream while you're driving home? Or did you forget again? 
Nope. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Oh, right, okay, throne. I had 11 suggested gifts sitting on my thingamajig, and I finally got around to actually going through them all. Um, there's a whole bunch of, like, hats for chair in the vein of, um, if you guys remember when we had the, there was, like, a Santa hat on, on chair for winter, for Feast of Winter's Vale. So I had a whole lot of suggestions for hats for different holidays through the year, so I got, I, I approved, a, like, I, I accepted a bunch of those and added descriptions and stuff. Um, there were a couple that were a bit kind of like, this doesn't quite feel right, so we, we, got, we went with them. Um, there were a couple that are really, really funky. I especially love the pumpkin one. I think that's fucking adorable. Um, yep. And there were a couple of other things. There was a, there's a set of earrings for, for Mount Luck. I need to, so... If you don't stick in the notes section who you are, it doesn't tell me who has suggested things. Um, because you don't have to log in or anything. There's no, you don't have to put your name anywhere. Um, so it doesn't tell me. Um, so there was, yeah, there's a, there's a suggestion for a pair of earrings for Mount Luck, which was super cute. Like little four leaf clovers, little shamrocks, which are just fucking adorable. Um, but yeah, so I went through that and it just, oh my God, I got so many giggles going through the, the suggested gifts and stuff. So very many thanks to people who have been suggesting things for the wish list. I appreciate it greatly. <clears throat> there is actually, so, um, I am curious to see if there are any, cause I know, um, you, you guys know I'm an affiliate with Mellow Cosmetics. Uh, and I'm looking at picking up a couple of pieces from them as like a birthday present for myself, like a, a gift to myself sort of thing. So if, if there are any particular shades that you'd really like to see tested or like get my opinion on or whatever, toss them on the suggested list. Because even if I don't stick them on the actual wish list, I can see and go and get them. My, do you know what I mean? Like that's it. Yep. Yeah. So highly recommend anything like that sticking on there because um i myself am the curious um but i don't i there are too many options and you know what i'm like i get analysis paralysis so having some some assistance on like what to try would be would be wonderful oh please tell me someone did bunny ears Go have a look, Yori. Go have a look. <clears throat> well done. We're not dressing chair well in a fedora. <laughs> it's for Brewfest. I mean, what would what would you prefer? Like one of those one of those like hats with the cans that you can stick in the sides? Is that more appropriate? I mean, if you got a better idea, Jas, pop it in the suggestions. <clears throat> Machiri. <laughs> Analysis paralysis, love it. And so me too. It's a pain. To oh, it's so it's so problematic. This is why I love that Twitch has polls. Because if I can't decide, I can just ask you guys. I can usually I'm pretty good at narrowing it down to a handful of things, but then like putting up a poll is really useful. Also, someone, I don't remember who it was, but someone on Twitter asked if you were, if we were going to be taking bets on how many attempts it'll take for the heartbreak amount to drop. And I said I would love to, but I don't know how to have people like submit their guesses in an efficient, easy way. That's not like a pain in the ass. You have to jump through 17 hoops, etc. So if you can think of a way that I can like leave open and get like a whole list of everyone's predictions up until the event starts and then I can close it off. Um, that'd be really good. I, it also, there also needs to be a way to verify who is making, who's making the prediction and like the people aren't making more than one. Um, without, preferably without logging into a Google account. Like my thought was I could just have like a single question on a Google form and say, you know, drop in this box, how many attempts, like, how many attempts it'll take, um, and, and stick your, your Twitch username in. Please be aware if you don't put your Twitch username in, it will not be a valid guess or something like that. Um, 
<clears throat> I don't know, maybe something like that. Could be fun, but uh, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. If you've got any any good ideas, I'd, I'd love to hear them. I'm supposed to be using the button. I am a numpty. I don't push the extra action buttons. That didn't work very well. That's okay. Uh, spreadsheet with pie chart. Pie chart? How would a pie chart work for... Uh, has your makeup been guessed? Yes, it has. It was the Amber Scorpion. Uh, I'd be lazy and just do channel points redemption plus spreadsheet. Ooh, I like that. That's really easy. And then I can just leave them there all stream and then tick them off as I collate them. That's a really good idea. And I can just make it like one, one channel point, like one ember. <clears throat> How many people won't read the destructions? Um, like... I've not been pushing the fucking button again. Fucking Jesus fear. Come on, what are you doing? Learn to concentrate. Um. All of them. <laughs> Love it. Oh, a hydrate. Okay. So I've done. I've done Storm's Week for today, so I can cross that off. <clears throat> I've got my checklist of things to do today in Asana. I... Oh, stretch redemption. Okay. Ah. Uh. to check. Okay. Um, not much more to go. that Azerite is driving the elements out of control. More reason for us to be putting an end to this. I'm definitely going pretty well with the- oops, strong button. Um, like my 10,000 world quests. I'm, I'm clocking them up with this mount farming. and we may have found corruption to use against the company. We will need able-bodied soldiers to wield them. Hey, which way you're pointing now, Linda? Hey, what's where you're pointing that thing? Oh, hey, what's where you're pointing that thing? Oh, oh, friend or foe? How might I have clumsy? Oh, friend or foe? State your business. Strike true. You will oh, oh, friend or foe? Eh, 
Fantastic. All right. Congratulations to Adam, Little, Zam, Neke, and Fairy on all your bonus shit. We're going to jump into this skin chest. So if you're looking for skins from this event, this is the time to place your units. Um, they don't need to be super powerful. You don't need to get any kills. You just need to place something on the battlefield. And you'll have a chance at a skin. Highly recommend you do so. Just need to follow the link in chat, log in with your Twitch account, and drag and drop your units to the battlefield. You can place a new one every five minutes. Bonus shit indeed. Well done, Neko. Hope you're doing well today. The witches are unmasked. And my people are safe once more. Thank you. The witches have unleashed a powerful creature in this area. Destroy it. Okay, leave me a place to live. Oh, nice. I hope you find one very easily and it fulfills all of your needs. Well done. The people of Drustbar are safer thanks to you. So the Soul Goliath, I think this is the one I can't do. Seven actually. It's fifty two plus rare. I think that's the one that I have trouble with every single time, so I'm just gonna skip it. Um, we'll go down and do the pet battle one. Two things to make my two girls and stop blaming each other for the mess in their room. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I can imagine. That does not sound like a fun time for anybody involved. Oh, excuse me. You need something for the alliance. Mm -hmm. Got any siblings yourself? I do. I do. I have a brother. And I have a stepbrother. And I have a stepsister. Uh, my brother and I definitely did not get along super well when we were much younger. Um, but as adults, we get along really well. All four of us do. Really, really well. And my sis, yeah. Yep. Yeah, even like my mum and dad and their respective siblings, it's all it's all the same. Um I mean even even if kids do get along well at certain points, like you know, maybe they're they're close enough in age and they have similar interests and all that kind of stuff. Um, you know, they, they're always going to mature at different levels, their, their interests are going to chop and change. There's always going to be some, like, struggle for individuality and all that kind of stuff, and there's always going to be a period of time where they're at each other's throats, I think. Like, it's just... Uh, yeah. Part of growing up with, uh, with siblings, I think.
And sometimes, obviously, it's a whole lot worse. <laughs> sometimes there are, you know, underlying issues that result in, in lifelong um, you know, low contact, no contact kind of situations. Uh, and there are, very rarely, there are the occasional group of kids, group of siblings, that never have those kind of friction issues, or maybe like once or twice, but never like an extended period of it, but, um, yeah. I think most of the time it's kind of, is what it is. Uh, youngest one looks after her oldest is about two years difference. The older wants to have a bit more independence. That makes sense. That makes sense. <clears throat> My people are threatened by a powerful foe in this area. Neutralize the threat. The people of Drustvar are grateful for your help. Did you get the 50 level 50? I did! We hit it yesterday. Got the last four done. Something on my lip. It's a bit weird. But yeah, got them done yesterday. I, uh, gosh, it was... It was a feeling. My goodness. It was like this whole, like, okay, amazing. It's done. That's incredible. I'm so excited. And then there's the, thank god it's done. Like, I don't have to focus so hard on leveling anymore. Good, like, it, I got it done by deadline, which is great. Two weeks prior to the deadline and all that. And then there's the other part, which is like, now what? <laughs> now what? Um, but what the now what is, is not in, not WoW related at all. Um, the time I would have spent leveling, I absolutely need to spend uh, focusing on the business side of stuff, um, focusing on like my, my house my home, my home life, my personal life, um, and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a huge relief to be done with it and be done in time as well. It's really good. Thank you. I mean, you can finally play the game. I know. I know, right? Finally play the game. With Lego Yoda, yes, I have plans to do that in February. At the moment, the plan is to do it on the 4th of February, which is a Friday. Have a chill Friday Lego stream. Uh, but I'm everything everything in February is just penciled in at the moment. The whole month is penciled. Uh, nothing is set in stone just yet because there are a few things um, that may toss a wrench in my plans. Um, so I need to just double check what's going on with those uh, before I can lock stuff in. But that's okay. like that's that's the nature of, of this um, uh, the nature of this whole thing. Uh, means that it's kind of difficult to lock lock stuff in. So yeah, I, I want to see there, there's a few bits and pieces where they can't. It's like you know, like the Pokemon Legends Arceus stream, right? I can't shift that because that's launch day, right? Um, so there are there are a couple of things um, in February where I've like I've committed to them, but I'm not sure what the date is on them. Um, so we're just kind of waiting to see where they slot in so that I can slot everything else in around them. Um, and that's fine. You know, it is what it is. Um, just hoping I can get that information uh, and still have time to do all the shit. All the shit. Luckily, there's still stuff I can do for my socials and things like that for next month that don't require me to know what my plans are. Uh, yes, it was a South Park reference. Your stream, your rules. Yeah, to, the, to an extent. To an extent, um, there are some things that I want to do that require me to commit to someone else's rules for a little while. That's okay. I'm fine with that. What was supposed to be a joyous celebration has been ruined. 
Next on, how you doing? Fine, just wake up, reinstall, wash yourself, add on, zing it back into action. Fantastic! Well, I hope you enjoy yourself. Um, yeah, things are going pretty well. Uh, I've got a new mount today. Uh, one, one so far. And I think that's unlocked a second one as well, but I'll have to, um, double check on data for Azeroth just to make sure that it is what I think it is. Citizens of Dalaran, raise your eyes to the skies and observe. Oh, I gotta head out, grab some sleep. Have a good one. You too, Jack. Rest well. We'll see you next time. Thanks so much for hanging out. Someone did the thing again? Yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. <clears throat> We shall never know peace. So much tragedy. Oh, cool. Perhaps we should. Uh, so that's everything. I'm gonna ignore that one because I can't actually do it. Uh, that is Alliance done. So I'm gonna head back to the garrison and log out, and we're gonna switch to fear. Uh, ooh, a hydrate. I've already drunk so much of my water bottle today. Um, I exercised and I went kind of hard. My thighs hurt. Um, <laughs> but I was like, oh, I was dying. So I drank a fair bit of water. That's a good thing though, right? Something, something hydrated. All right. So now that Lillian has logged out, let us jump on and refresh Another her. Another hydrate. <laughs> okay, give me a minute. Let's refresh Lillian. Just see if that bumps us up because we're on 631. Let's see what we get to. Go. 633. There you go. 633. So it does count for both. That's awesome. I mean, I, I knew it did, but like seeing it is just nice. 633 mounts. I feel pretty good about that. We're making some decent... Over the last like month or so, we've knocked over a few. We've knocked over a few.
do, do, do. Two hydrates. Okay. Hmm. I'll live enough for one. Soz. <clears throat> All is quiet. Uh, okay, so. Alright, I forgot I bought frostbeard. Okay, uh, right, we're gonna go to Corthia. And grab me a Lost Ray's Wing Egg, and that should be the last one because the like um whatever I've got on the thing is saying I've done three and I've got six in my bag so if I get a seventh and I go turn them all in I hopefully will get a mount unless the count is wrong I hope it's not wrong because that would make me very sad uh, <laughs> there is also a chance I'll turn in like three of them and all of a sudden get a mount that would be very funny uh, but look we'll see Let's find out if Yandra is right. Absolutely, we will. We'll verify our data. Verify the data. My six little baby eggs. Oh, let's see how we go. And we gotta go do Malbog while we're here as well. But that'll I'll do that like in a second. Actually, maybe I should go do Malbog first. Because that's in the area and then kind of head back and start killing stuff. I think that might be better. That might be better. Let's see if person giving us the, the route is here. Otherwise, I'll do it myself. Actually, before we go fucking anyway. Oh, yeah. Cool. They are here. Um, I'm gonna go hand all of these in because I, there's a few in my bags. We have a soul responsibility. Quite a few in my bags. I did not realize there was that much. There that much. Oh dear. Well, this is convenient. The purpose has brought us here. We have but one option. Actually, there's a melee thing on here. I can get rid of that. Nice. Why won't they go ahead of me? Why are they like, come on, make the purple go ahead of me. Unfortunately, these don't drop the eggs. That'd be really convenient, wouldn't it? Make me some food and just do a quick munch. Because I am a squishy. That's okay. <laughs> Nine attempts. Yeah, no. I'm, uh. 
is... Yeah, 1 in 100. Yeah, look. Just a bit. Nope. No Crimson Shard Hide, but that's okay. We'll take Malbog off our list for today and head a little bit north east. East. We'll head east uh, and go get our, hopefully, our last lost Razorwing egg. Oh, they're all dead. Okay. <laughs> sure. That's fine. Everything respawned all at once, good lord. Someone must have pulled it all together and AoE'd it down, because that was terrifying. Jesus Christ. I'm fine. Everything is fine. It's totally fine. There we go. Lost razor wing egg. It says I have eight. No, I don't. I have seven. Uh, okay. Add to Tom Tom. Let's go turn these in and see if it does the thing. Wouldn't that be magical? I've already got two mounts today. Pretty fucking lucky to get another. Although, you know, there are some mounts that if you if you chip away at them, eventually you get them. It's, you know, it's just that easy. Uh, just that simple. So, uh, yeah, look, we'll see how we go. Oh, I have a stretch redemption. Okay, I'll do that in... Actually, I can do that now. There's nothing around me that's going to try to kill me. Oh, look, it's an ashes. Thank you, Naughty. I hope you're having a lovely day. <clears throat> oh, 
Excuse me. Getting there? I know that feeling. I'm pretty wrecked, but uh, look, getting two mounts in one felt pretty good. And hopefully this will be another mount, so that'll be nice too. Little things like that go a long way, don't they? That's definitely a good day then. Yeah, I got um, Hunter Arcana on Alliance side to level tw to rank 20. And then that unlocks the respective rank 20 horde one as well. Like, they both unlock at the same time. Why are they just waiting there? Makes me really nervous. Cry of gratitude rings from above. Cry of gratitude rings out from above. It's three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, it was right. Bam. 634. That's 634. I don't have to do that one anymore. It's done. It's finished. Counterworks! Indeed! I was hoping I'd get good mount on Monday RNG to get Raven Lord, but no such luck. Oh, I'm sorry, Meaty. I took it all today. That's my bad. Grats, thank you, Mid. Yay, Counterworks. Yes. Thank you for the grats and the hype. Woo. Um, what's up today? Is it the... It's Necrolord Assault. Okay, Covenant Assault is the next on the list, and the Necrolord Assault is definitely... I need the Undying Dark Count. Um, so we're going to go... Um... Actually, it's probably going to be faster for me to just pour to Oroboros, go back to Corthia, and then take the flight. Actually, no, I'll just take the flight. Uh, jump through the pit. It'll be easy. Much easier than running all the fucking way back to to the, the hub of Corthia. I love being a mage, can I just say? It is so convenient. Um, so this one is, what is it? The, that one, I've got it. Why is that still on the list? That's odd. Interesting. Um, it was the Undying Dark Count. Yeah, this one. So I've only, I've done three Necrolord Assaults. So look, it's a one in 25. I think the Covenant ones are one in 20. They are one in 25. So look, the numbers are against me, but we're going to try anyway. Because if you don't, it won't drop at all. It's guaranteed to not drop. Let's see how we go. The Necrolords march on the altar of domination. Join us and lead the charge. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, and I'm actually gonna pull up. This is Covenant Salts. There we go. I put those travel mans in for the assaults. Isn't it just such a little quality of life thing? Hey, such a small th inclusion for such a huge thing. Okay, reporting to Draka. For the honor of the blade sword. Meet me in Partition Hold when you are done. There is much to be the done. The Mossworn tremble at our might. Blood and thunder! Blood and thunder. I always have time for my brightest... Select a champion to assist you. I bear many points. 
poisons. Hello. I survived on like 300 health, not even. Oof, that was uncomfortable. All right, I'm gonna do a munch. Good, opening the captain chest. I'm not gonna get a skin because I've got them all already. Um, but let me know if you got a skin. I would love to know. View little Dunno, Neke, and Bod. Congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Well done. And onwards we go. I want to do the book battle, so I want to go to this one. one more archer. So let's do that. <clears throat> you got a skin! Yay, Sam! Congrats! Did you see which one you got? Was a barbarian. Nice, nice. Retro barbarian, brilliant. I hope you love it. Disembodied soul. <clears throat> I'm gonna go pick up that quest down there from Mechanicos. Sorry, taking bets. Am I going to get them out from this cage? It's only a 1 in 25. But I've only tried three times. So... Am I going to be lucky enough to get it? Four mounts in a day. Maybe that's the better question. Do we think I'm going to get another mount today? Do you think we're going to hit 635?
Yes. Ah, oh, love the confidence, Fear. Love the confidence. The right lie can win the war. Hi, the sun will. Yes. Her oh, shit buttons. Ah, Shiva! With the race up at tier three. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Much appreciated. I'll be personally offended if we don't. As will I, fairy. As will I. Like, good lord. Like, how dare, you know? How dare. Maybe? Maybe is a good answer. Like, maybe. Yeah, as a fan of the map, I find myself I have a good feeling you get another. When it rains, it pours kind of deal. Yeah. New Year means woo tier 3 on renewal again. That dang Christmas time ruining the fun. Look, I get it. I totally get it. And you know that I would never, like, if anyone ever has to, like, cancel a sub for financial reasons or drop from one tier to a lower one or whatever, it, it like, honest to goodness, take care of yourselves before you take care of fear. It's totally okay. I understand. Excuse me, I'm the one with the $23,000 fucking dental. I understand what it means to not have disposable income. I get it. It's totally okay. I will not be upset. And just also remember that there are so many ways you can help support your favorite streamers without having to spend a cent. Follow on social media. I mean, like, it is the- I know it- I bang on about this all the fucking time lately, but it's honestly, like, this is the big goal. The next big goal is growing that Instagram follower. Like, I've been- uh, following- I've been talking to a few of my colleagues, like, my fellow content creators, and you know how, you know, I've had a couple of brand deals. We've done- we, I've, I've paired up with the Udi, and we've done a thing. I've had a couple of sponsored streams from Blizzard, things like that. Every single content creator that I have spoken to has told me that 80% or more of their brand deals come from Instagram. So if I'm getting all these just with Twitch, how fucking many do you think I can grab if I have the Instagram following to back it up? Good lord. Like, that shit will pay the bills. I'm not even kidding. So please, 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 please jump on shoot me a follow on instagram tell your friends i promise i don't bite it's like i'm a nice human for the most part like <laughs> do me an enormous favor and throw me a follow on instagram it is totally free and honestly it will it will legitimately help me in my want in my desire to go full time I'm not even, like, I'm, I'm not even kidding. It is a direct factor in me being able to go full-time at some point in the next couple of years. That's, that's the goal. That's the goal. Um, cool, and now I can go back here. Oh no, have I done the, oh, I've done the, wait. Embarrassment of corpses. Oh, I've done that, brilliant, cool. Uh, okay. Now we're killing more of these ones that are really kind of not very easy to kill. Good. Uh, I need to do some more Rivendell runs. I'm busy setting up garrisons. Of course, you really ruined my unproductive game. I'm very sorry about that. No, I'm not. I'm kidding. Um, just imagine how many mounts you'll be able to just buy off the auction house with all the gold you'll be raking in once you've got those garrisons set up. Thank you, Zam, for dropping the socials link. Everything's in there. Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, the whole lot. Instagram's the big one that I'm focusing on. The really, really big one. Um, but the others are there if you'd like to follow those as well. Totally up to you. I'm not going to be upset. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I downloaded DBM. Life is more easy now. And wow, DBM definitely does help with like red dungeons and raids and stuff, hey? For sure. For sure. I have to kill the really, really big ones as well. Ugh. Oh, this is gonna suck. Mm -mm. 
Uh, will Insta follows help if I never check the Insta? Oh, actually, surprisingly, yeah. Yeah. Um, because the thing is, right, we understand that you have, like, an engagement rate. So, if you have an engagement rate of 1%, but you have a thousand followers, it means every single time you post something, 10 people engage in your with your image. So, if you've got 10 people engaging every single time you post anything, there is a decent chance that one of them will buy something when you post about it. There's like, um, companies understand that there's like, if you've got, um, if you've got 5,000 followers, you're likely to get five sales out of them. Um, that's kind of the general, it's generally around 0.1% of your following will actually activate something that you're, you're posting about. So if they're going to get five sales out of you, they might give you one product because they'll they'll get five sales back, which which you know that kind of profit margin and stuff will probably cover what they've given you. Um, if you've got three, if you if you get up to ten that ten thousand is like the magic number where you start really earning on Insta. Um, but like it, it just it kind of it just keeps growing from there. And the more of a following you have, the more people who are going to engage with your show, like with your photos, which means the more you're going to be shown to others on Instagram as well. So once you hit that magic number of ten thousand, you just you get exposed to so many more people on their feeds and stuff as well that it just becomes like the growth becomes a lot easier. You hit that kind of you know the top of the hill and then it just kind of rolls the rest of the way down, uh, and you just pick up followers as you roll. Uh, obviously, I'm nowhere near 10,000. I'm sitting just below 1,000 at the moment, but hitting 1K is that first big milestone. It's that first big milestone. So if I can hit one, it'll be easier for me to hit two, be easier again to hit three, etc., etc. And the higher that number climbs, the, the better likelihood I have. Um, there's an app that I'm a part of at the moment. Um, well, I'm not technically a part of it. I, there's an app that I've seen around the place. Um, that offers paid deals to micro influencers. Um, so the idea is instead of paying one person a shite load of money, pay shitloads of people a little bit of money each, right? So you've same budget, potentially more reach. Um, or, or, you know, your target audience reach, um, which is what's important. Uh, and in order, like most of the campaigns on there require 3000 minimum. Um, some of them require higher ones, but 3,000 minimum. So that's that's kind of the borderline to break into that particular one. But 1,000 is like my first goal. <laughs> so I'm trying to I'm trying to break it down into doable chunks. Because if I set my sights on fucking 10k, I'll never. Yeah, it'll be years before I get there. So um, look, little bit by little bit, um, I'm getting there. But yeah, unsub like it, it's actually quite surprising. But yes, even if your Instagram is fairly inactive, a follow will still help. because that increase in numbers will expose me to people who are active. Thank you, Elg, much appreciated. Love that. Thank you. But yeah, look, it's just, it's all like, I know I talk a lot about what goes on in the background and stuff like that, but I feel like it's really important for you guys to understand how what you do helps me achieve my dreams and goals and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah. And of course, you know, the more brand deals I manage to get, and if I manage to go full time, I'll be able to attract more sponsors, which means more giveaways, which means, you know, more shit for you. And I mean, I know that's why most of you are here. You just want shit for yourselves. I'm kidding. There's a big grin on my face for those of you who are lurking. in here because there seem to be a few anima canisters in here. You reached the magic 10k? Thank you, Elg. I appreciate that. All the success to you. Thank you. And to you too in whatever your endeavours are. I'm here because I'm trying to collect famous friends. And early before they hit the big time. <laughs> oh, that's great. Stop on that. 
actually. Let's drop something I need, so let's try that. Thirty-four now, aren't I? Jesus. <laughs> it's soon I'm gonna have fewer than 200 left to collect. That's still a huge number, but like, that's a milestone and a half, right? Under 200 mounts to go. and I was happy. 200. No, 200 to go. I've got 634. <laughs> you shall be weighed. You shall be measured. I've got, so I've got 600, 633, no, 634, because I have gotten another one, uh, which means that I have 204 left to collect in-game. Some of those are, I'm pretty sure that some of them are, um, oh no, have I filtered out? I filtered out unobtainable. So 204 left that I can actually get. That's fairly important. There's quite a few more than that that I can't get anymore. To let shush, meaty shush. No, don't do it. <laughs> Goals, fuck yeah. Goals are good to have. Goals are good to have. Uh, have you got 83 since 9 was released? Are you, are you catching? No. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not. Um, I'm not, like, the ones I'm doing are taking a while to get. Uh, actually, I can check that. What date was 9 one released? That now that they've got the actual, like, um, uh, thingamajig, I can tell you um, what I was on on the day it released. That's super cool. Oops, did I say that out loud? You did. You did. How dare. I'm kidding, of course.
Oh, what's the drop rate on assault mounts? 1 in 25. Would you hire? I only do them once a month. Yeah, 1 in 25. So it's at a 4% drop chance. Still not super great. Uh, but a hell of a lot better than 1. Greetings, my friend. Always ready for battle. We must push forward. More Walker. Signal the advance. So does anyone know what date 9.1 dropped? So it'll be June 30th for us. June, well, June 28th, I had 565 mounts. So I've gotten 69. Eh, 69 since then. So no, I haven't quite caught up. Uh, but I that's a lot better than I thought it'd be. Not gonna lie. The sex number, I did say the sex number. That's how many mounts I've gotten since 9-1, approximately. 14 before 9-2, please. I'm trying, I'm trying. Doing the best I can. I don't really have any easy ones left to get. And I do also only farm them like once a week. Obviously if I, if I did more days of mount farming I'd get them a lot faster. Uh, but also uh, people have said that they don't want this to just become a total mount farm stream. They like they actually enjoy having the variety of content. Uh, and I agree and I don't have time outside of stream to to um do this so Definitely some mounts on my list that will likely take me like several months to get as well. Uh, which, even with 50 tunes. <laughs> uh, so that'll be a bit tricky. Shah, for example. Wouldn't that be a fun one to get? 427 attempts so far out of 2k. It's not too bad.
It'll take me two full streams to do all my tunes against Shaw. And I'm not sure if people even want two Mount Farm streams a week. I mean, if they do, we can look at that, but, uh... These vile creatures serve the jailer. We will grind them into dust. That has went really well. Yay! Oh, that's awesome to hear. It's great news. before us. Look to our brothers and sisters! Oh, did I just get the box? I did just get the box. Oh, I got a pet. I already had it, but that's fine. Nice. Okay. I am getting the fuck out of here. So that's done. No mount. That's okay. We're going to go to Legion. High Mountain Paragon. Email from Twitch about discounted sub bundles. Ooh. Interesting. Is that the same email I got two weeks ago? Or is that something different? Maybe something different. Is that for like when you gift bundles of subs? Like you get a discount on them or something? Like bulk buy discount? It's a high mountain um, thingy thingamajiggy. We might actually get a cache today. High Mountain Paragon is the High Mountain Elder Horn. It's my last Legion drop, apparently. Oh, that's a solo one. Because there's still group ones, like the, the, um, yeah, those ones. Gotcha, gotcha. This is the last solo Legion drop. Technically. Why don't I get mails from Twitch anymore? I was really excited about showing my views to view times too. You have to have your marketing emails turned on. If you don't have your marketing emails turned on, they won't send you anything. Suramar's citizens must be told of the arrival of the Horde. Post bulletins throughout the oh, I got this one, yeah. Let the oppressed know that help is- 15% on any sub with a six month bundle or get 10% off a three month bundle. Ooh, nice. That's cool. Yeah, they really, they do encourage um, like multi-month subs. Um, the discount doesn't affect what I get. There's some key points here. The discount doesn't affect what I get. I still get my split and it's each month. I don't get all six months up at, up front either. I get mine each month for the six months and my split doesn't change. It doesn't discount my split by 15%. Um, so it's actually a really, really good option if you are planning on sticking around. Uh, and if you, if you are financially able to at the moment, 
Um, it is, it, you know, I mean, pre-purchasing usually gets you a, a, a nice discount, which is uh, really tasty. But yeah, if it's something that you can afford to do, um, it's it's quite well worth it. Um, yeah, the, the big important thing to remember is that it, you, getting a discount doesn't affect how much I get. Like, it doesn't put me at a disadvantage, uh, which is great. Like, Twitch eats the whole discount, which is really nice of them. <laughs> not sure if this is the usual discount. Um, I'm not sure if it is either, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, yeah, I'm not sure either. Where the fuck is this quest? You do the battle and I'll figure out what the hell was going on here. Is it in the cave? It might be. I think it is. I have a battle on top of the mountain. Nope, it's in the cave. Perfection. I can hear the spirits cry out in the cave. Please, stop them. Witness the power of the power. Sean Ranier, go kiss a torrent. I just save it all my mail notifications. Well, there you go. That'd be why. Uh, okay. Congratulations to Dunno, Zam, and Neke on your bonus shit. Yas. Boss time. Loyalty boss chest. Oh. I fulfilled two of my quests. Tasty. I might go back and um off. My water bottle's empty, X. Might have to go fill it up. You are no match for the Tiras Guard. Elementium. It is a weapon that I hope oh, the Drogbar never master. <laughs> oh dear. It's a cute one. Oh dear. Got you. Thank you, X. Much appreciated. I have to go do that chest room refill my bottle soon. Never old. Da, 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 da. There was a TikTok I meant to send you the other day that sums up the hydrates perfectly. I should see if I can find it. There have been a few that are like, you know, hydrates on stream and stuff like that that are just hilarious. It's like, oh, thank you. I will take this sip of water. It's like, hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. is like, Gwah. yep. Ah, <laughs> oh, dear. Well struck, like a true warden. Yes. Uh, ah, perfect. Go turn in our uh, um, emissary. Uh 
Oh, we also have to I need to turn in that Warden's Emissary. Honestly. Have you come to trade? Together we are High Mountain. Nothing. There's a bunch of stuff I still need from that particular tribute occasion, just nothing. Nothing. Oh, actually, that might be because I've got ATT on all. Yeah, it absolutely is, because I can't use that technique. Let's switch it off account mode so I know what I'm actually doing, shall we? Oops. Yeah, I need nothing. Good. Okay. <laughs> That's what I thought. I was a bit confused. We're good. We're good. The Bitestone keeps stealing goods from my people. Drug me, bro. Up for a little burgling. Spit in drink. Oh my god. Please now has a gluten free and vegan mac and cheese. Ah, interesting. Toads, That's super cool. No brains. <laughs> well done. Oh, I thought that had just put me out. It did not. Ah, oh, that's fine. It's not like this stuff poses a threat to me anyway. I'm glad for those people that need gluten-free foods. That'd be a hard pass for me. I don't know. Gluten-free pasta is actually really, really good when it's hot. Like, I, I honestly prefer gluten-free pasta. You can't have it cold. You cannot have cold gluten-free pasta. It just turns to absolute trash. Um, but even if you reheat it, it's actually really good and it doesn't make me feel so like tired and sleepy afterwards. It doesn't feel so heavy in my gut. Um, and the vegan mac and cheese, let's be totally honest. Mac and cheese, like packaged mac and cheese with powder and shit, doesn't have any actual fucking cheese in it anyway. It's all goddamn chemicals and preservatives. Um, so vegan versions of those chemicals and preservatives probably wouldn't be that bad. Um, I'd give it a go. Like... Craft mac and cheese, craft easy mac sits in my stomach like cement anyway. <laughs> so like, how could it possibly be worse? Warden tower. Greybane's forces hold this warden's tower. Thin their ranks. It's not thin. What's is sh break their ranks? Break their ranks. Greymane's forces hold this way. Show no mercy. Tower. There we go. Break their ranks. Show no mercy. Uh, 
Uh, I do like chemicals, and my best friends are made from them. <laughs> I've tried gluten-free pancakes. No, oh, really? Ooh, gluten-free pancakes. Gluten-free bread is a bit interesting. However, when it's toasted, like if you have gluten-free toast, it's great. It's just when it... it maybe gluten-free stuff is fine when it's hot and just not fine when it's not hot. Maybe that's the issue we're finding. Up we go. Ah, oh, there's one in here. Okay, what's this one? This one, we'll do that first. I just can't click it. Is this stupid, um, the, what's it called? Coming up. It's not actually there. Like, there's no bonus objective there. Um, just the display is broken. Oof. I think mm, we're still not going to get a Paragon case today, I don't think. I'm only at 82% and I've only got three to go. Bugger. Oh well. It's worth a shot. What flour was used? Yeah, that's a really good question. Like, not all gluten-free flour is, is the same, hey? They are not all made equal. of the forest are getting too bold. They leave their woods and attack my people while we hunt down the fell totem. <gasps> Should we let live? Nah. Hey Jess, if you're still there, are you feeling hungry yet? Buckwheat, am I pretty right? They didn't have the same stuff for protection. It came from Maggie, but uh, they were pretty flavorsome. Um, buckwheat, in my experience, has been pretty good. Um, especially like buckwheat pancakes, specifically, uh, have been pretty good. I'm not like I'm not celiac. I'm not gluten free usually, um, but I'm not opposed to going to a, a like a healthy restaurant that has gluten free stuff on the menu. Um, there are like especially around like in the city and stuff there are so many places that are literally everything on the menu is gf half the menu is vegan like it's just it's that kind of a, a thing so like yeah i'll give it a go as long as it's not shit right How can, like <laughs> there are some incredible things you can do with gluten-free food these days it's no longer like plastic bread and stuff you know But yeah, the buckwheat pancakes I've had before were pretty good. So it would not surprise me if it were buckwheat. Stuff's just so expensive to make at home. Like, good lord. Rumble before our power! What's up? I was asking if you were hungry yet. Done admirably in putting down. <laughs> Sphere hungry, probably, yes. Yep.
Okay. Sure. Sounds like a plan. Thank you. I appreciate it. I just noticed that my stomach was starting to get angry and I was like, uh oh. Uh oh. I can always grab a measly bar if need be. Witness the power of an archmage. Hey, just when you're gonna start a cooking stream. Witness the power of an arch. You are no match for the Tyrus Guard. Is that actually... No, it's not. It is absolutely a shared fucking... And I have every single... Look at this! I have every single source of this particular item now. Good lord. Uh, right, I am going to teleport to Orgrimmar so I can go turn in this supplies from the Wardens thing. Because it's been sitting there for a while. I feel like it'd be a good thing. I'm just a few played up for fears. I need to go buy I'd subscribe. Ugh. There you go. Alright, so that's High Mountain Paragon. <clears throat> I need to go turn in this just to get it off the off the thing. Let me confer with my sources. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, and then Unshackled. Unshackled Paragon. Imagine a double stream, with fear streams way on just streams, he's cooking for fear. For you meant source. Correct. Correct. Oh. Fly to Warden's Redoubt. Is it really faster to fly? Holy shit. Interesting. Lord Illidan knows the way. Sam in this economy. Yeah. Good lord, the bandwidth. My goodness. So I'm at 88% of Paragon, so that one I'll definitely get a, a cage next week. For sure. How are we looking for Unshackled? Oof. Oh. Rough. Oh well, gotta make the progress. If we don't do it now, we'll never get the cage. Will I get Sarah's extra cloak? Yes! I did! Amazing! About fucking time. Good lord. Okay. Um, Unshackled, so we're going to BFA. Look. Look. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, excuse me. Alright, what I might do is go and refill this water bottle. Uh, take that chair stream so I can fulfill some of these delightful hydrates you've all got for me. How is Najata looking though? There's no posture checking. <laughs> oh. Luckily, there is an unshackled what's it. So we might get closer than I th than I thought, but I don't th I still don't think we're going to get like all the way. Anyway, I'm going to be back shortly. Run away, little girl! Run away!
boogie down. An illusion? What are you hiding?
But I have returned. Oh. Right, the cooldown you did. It's 662 attempts on Time Reaver. Oh no, Zam. Kishbet either. It was Matt getting Monday. What the hell? Yeah, I got them all. I got three. Such wicked damage, so I can't to use when V is gone. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm starting out like. Oh, I'm getting. I'm getting hungry now. Hungry now. Um, I don't think I need. Ah, uh, useful. What's mine is yours. What's mine is yours. Where am I going? Good tidings. Right, I think that's what is this quest? Baked port tato. Four out of ten. How do I have four out of ten? Where the fuck are the four that I have? <laughs> have anything ancient to trade? Needs to be at least two centuries old. The bank. Well, it should let me turn them in if they're in the bank, right? If you find anything exotic, bring it to me. It looks like it. It's ticked it off, so surely. Um, did fear stole our RNG? My family was broken by the Naga. I never had a chance. Something to on your mind? Them. Try not to be too reckless. Stay sharp. Uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go up here. I've got this one here as well, but we can like circle around. So after Tol Barad, we're going to be heading back into islands, and as usual, I will have open spots for anyone who wishes to join. Of course, I can queue solo, so if no one wants to come along, it's not like I'm relying on people to come along to be able to do it, um, but it goes faster if you do it in a group, and it's always nice to, to see other people get stuff that they need as we go along. So that would be an option if anyone wishes to take advantage. There's our flotsam done. This quest up. Just can siphon some of that sweet RNG to me. All right. Although keep in mind, both like all three of the mounts that I got today, I have been working towards week after week. So I don't think it's RNG. Just saying. Goodness gracious me. Oh, sorry. That's it, hero. Make them pay. I'm not bored, I'm just fucking zonked. Welcome, land dweller.
Uh, I need to be work for group admin. Totally fine. Totally fine. Okay, Lori. Finally get some island mounts. You know what? Me too. Me too. I'm over halfway there. But I'm I have just under half of them to go still. So it's kinda like uh, And they just take so long to to make any kind of progress. But it's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there eventually. I'm stubborn. If nothing else, I'm stubborn. Congratulations to Seth, Spam, Neke, Bod, Z, V, Meaty, Naughty, and Zam on all your bonus shit. Not page number seven. Exactly. Yay for bonus shit. Look, I even I even got a bonus shit. I got a bonus tier. And it's the final level of glitched with a super loyalty boss chest at the end. We're gonna grab the tokens and the skin chest along the bottom here. And I'm gonna do some of these hydrates because I'm starting to get a bit woozy. Whew, all right. Um, all right, flag bearer. Keep leveling these babies. Actually, I'm pretty sure I actually have a new flag bearer skin. Let me just double check. I do. It is, it is for chair. The flag bearer skin is for chair. Uh, so I hope you like it. <laughs> it's like, it's like for pony, but it's for chair. So, uh, cause chair is, chair is everything. Chair is like so supportive. We love chair. So chair has his own skin now. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's bang on. Go turn this one in. <clears throat> it's great to see you. We're all in this together. She has supported you in every stream, indeed. Indeed. I'm so lucky. So lucky. I thought you might like that. Actually, I'm gonna quickly hop over and do this one because it's got five minutes left on the timer. Uh, and I'll just give me just that little extra bit of rep maybe. Maybe they got your back. Exactly. It's so funny to see the emotes bouncing around the screen. Isn't it great? Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. Fear. Fear. Change that. Um. Alright. Your refusal to bend the knee offends my loyal subjects. Yeah, fuck this off, Ajara. We don't care. We don't Whatever care. Whatever Ajara is planning, it can't be good. Stop those Naga in their, uh, tracks. Okay. The Shirakas are conducting dark Weird tinged substances. Use this telemancy beacon to deny them their specimens. 
Oh, I fell down a hole. I didn't even realize there was a hole there, but there was, and I fell down it. Go me. Am I ever gonna get this weapon rack? Like, legit. Am I ever gonna get this Zanji weapon rack? 774 kills. Supposed to be a one in five hundred or something. Anyone hungry for seafood? Four hundred. One in four hundred. Even worse. By the power of Gilbrack. Hey Ian, how you doing? Welcome back. Left off three zeros. Yeah, good lord, right? It's so bad. I mean, I've had bad luck with some drops, for sure. But this one just seems like, I don't know, wrong somehow. Good is showing copy watching Twitch. Wonderful. How are you today? Yeah, not too bad. Bit tired, but that's fairly normal for me. Um. A little bit wobbly, uh, but I think that's just because I'm getting hungry, like quite hungry. But dinner is on its way. Uh, I know Jas is cooking at the moment, so uh, that that issue will have a solution rather quickly. A little over three thousand kills in. Holy cow! That's just. A little bit ridiculous, eh? Hey? She's swallow you. First fell magic, now the void. Azara is a prideful fool who tampers with powers. We have a nice dinner. Control. Well, it is steak, so I'm very much looking forward to it. Steak is delicious. All right, so let's head up north to this one. Circle down to this one that just spawned and then do the arcane case here. Yeah, this will be fine. This will be fine. steak if I stopped buying books. Uh, we don't get expensive steak. We get we get fairly cheap steaks, but they're still like they're still pretty good. One of those two chair streams. I do stretch. <sighs> Uh, do posture check. Hydrate. And do stretch. 
Costco steaks on the other hand, very nice. Ah. That's good. And I've already chosen the pet. Awesome. Oh. Right, we've got spawns. Okay, so I might do that one first then and then swing through. You said it might should be releasing soon. I'm so excited to see you the tiger and I'm a tiger baby. Brilliant. Wonderful. Um, Year of the Tiger is starting soon. I think they announced today the Overwatch start date for that event. Someone has to so, put a stop to those Naga. And right I'm sure now, it'll be coming soonish. It usually comes out at some point during Luna Festival, doesn't it? So like end of the month or well, start of next. Uh, every meal for me is the same: chicken, rice, and veggies. Maybe one day I'll splurge. Fair. Fair enough. Yeah, I um, I have issues with iron. I uh, My I need queen. red meat. I also need a variety of animal products because of the autoimmune thing. To the abyss with you, for Ashara. <clears throat> Abyss, take you. What a volcanic rock. Awesome. Oh, that's something else I should do. Is the yeah, and it's on the way. Look right there. Perfect. Jump on in and give my diva's lab a go. See if we can get one of the drops to drop. Plus, you get some wrap. <clears throat> So the model have its unique for all those with mounts have been unique. Hmm. But right, we'll see, won't we? We'll see. Chinese near soon, indeed. Oh, another rock! Yay! I'm pretty sure I actually need um transmog from the one that's double fire. So that's good. <coughs> Uh, so that'll be one more mount for you to acquire. Ah, it'll be a store mount. So at least it's not like a one in 2,000 drop chance. Could be so much worse. Ajara's not gonna like being denied something she's had her eyes on, which is just. He's not, yeah, not too bad, Chaos. Not too bad. Bit tired, but um, like, <laughs> that's kind of you know how I operate. So I'll be, I'll be just fine. Yeah. How about you? All right, purple. Going for purples. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
go through and do the ally one. So I'm just going home from the cinema. Fantastic! I hope you enjoyed yourself. Key on a arcane cage key. Oh, there we go. That one. Go to my diva. Your oh, math is yeah, small fire, greater fire. Perfect. Let's see if we can get that wand. Good night, everyone. Hope you have a wonderful man. RNG for the rest of the stream. Thank you, Meaty. Rest well. We'll see you next time. I hope you have a great rest. This was fun on the way home. It was good. Fantastic. Glad to hear it. To hear it. Cool. Let's do this. No wand. That's okay. Still get out 500 unshackled reps, so it's not too bad. I don't think I can do the world bosses. You just yet. are it's not ah! prepared, Jude. Hello. Thank you so much for the raid. Hope you are having a wonderful day. I hope you had a fantastic stream. Tell me all about it. What did you do? What did you get up to? Thank you for the cast of Command Shiba. Much appreciated. Hello, Loza. Hello, Jude. Welcome in. Make yourselves comfortable. My Logitech G733, oh my gosh, they're amazing, aren't they? Oh, they're so good. So good. It is like a difficult decision because I've got two headsets now. It's such a hard decision to try to figure out like which one to use each day. Oh my god. Just did some casual transport farming. Fantastic. Well, I hope you picked up a bunch of new appearances. Something nearby is channeling a massive amount of arcane energy. I've been doing a couple of um strike it down while we still have the chance. I was doing a couple of uh, runs off stream, the priestesses of just Elune not not what like lowest percentage ones, ones, but like working my way from the top down, like working on classic raids. Spirits, the uh, and the one at the top of Fear's list, let me show you. Um, so like I've I've knocked it. Oh, Blackwing lays back on there again. I keep deciding Elementium Ingot is is something that I need, but it's not. Like there's nothing I can do with it. Um, but yeah, so. Um, but there was only one drop I needed from Blackwing, and it was a cloak, which meant it could drop on literally any character. So I started going through all my tunes doing Blackwing Lair runs, and I kid you not, I went through three characters and did not get a single new piece of transmog from any boss on three characters straight. I was like, excuse me? You have like, 40% of all the appearances. How did not a single drop happen? I was very upset. Even though there was so little of it left. Very upset. But then finally I was on my priest and the cloak dropped. Um the cloak from Firemore. So I uh I yep. Black Wheeler is now complete on fear when ATT doesn't decide she needs an elementium ingot for some reason. Um So yeah, I'm I'm working on Garage now, but that's gonna be a 
Okay, because the two, the two, like, Temple and Ruins of Ankaraj are both so... so linked. There are, there are drops that all bosses from both raids share and all this kind of stuff, so I can't really do one without doing the other. Um, so it's a bit of a tricky one. No one left but It's a bit of a tricky one, but I'll get there. Ah, uh, my parents put me in a nice tech speaker setup because I've been wanting a subwoofer so much better than the cheap speakers I had before. Oh, fuck yeah. Like, uh, subwoofer makes such a huge difference, eh? Such a huge difference. Hello? Hello. What did you say? I said it really does. It does. Would you like some steak? I'd love some steak. Look, if you guys, cut into it steak. and it's a bit pinker than you prefer, I can throw it back on the stove and scold it. That's pretty much perfect. Here you go! Have Thank some you. sauce. I will, I will have so much sauce. Have some sauce. Yeah, give me a second. Let me just... Where's the hundred? Have some sauce. I can't. The... The label's on. Still. The seal. That is why we ran out of sauce so quickly. Because you eat all of it. Yes. Thank you. Oh, the bin's out there. That's fair. Thank you for dinner. Yeah. I appreciate you. You need the ingots for something in AQ, maybe? No, I don't. That's the thing. I've got all that shit from AQ. Like, it says zero of one. But if I click it, like, there's nothing... No, not fuck. It just that's where they drop from. There's there's nothing four of four, one hundred percent. But then when I hover over this one, zero of one. They are the same fucking thing. But ATT is yeah. It's it's broken. Oh, what if you answer? I haven't seen fantastic, nothing super rare, but it was fun, so it's all good. And that is the most important thing, right? Having fun is like the thing. Didn't even know that. Didn't even know about AQ or Yeah, AQ20 and AQ40. Like there's a bunch of stuff that um like they share recipes and shit, like stuff that drops off. Like the shadow power drops off every any boss in both that you can see in the in the tooltip DNR ruins and temple and stuff like that. It's just it's a mess. I've got I've got so much of the stuff in there, but there's like those last one or two things that will not drop because they hate me. Yeah, those. That's how much of a difference it'd make. I love it a whole lot, and it's a good footrest. It is. I can wholeheartedly agree with you on that one. It's a fantastic footrest. Can I do anything for you? United, we will overcome. Okay, and now we go down here. And turn everything else in. Ah, uh, does that AQ boss still need frost damage to kill? Yes. Uh, frost damage and then melee strikes. A certain number of melee strikes in a time limit before it breaks out of the frost. Um, it, it is soluble by a bunch of different classes, but you have to take special things with you kind of thing. Um, oh, fuck, I missed a bounty. Najatar rare. Pfft. Let's see if there are any rares up that I actually need. Shall we? Let's try Voltran. Um, but yeah, it does still need frost to kill. Um, so you freeze it. It's a certain number of frost, a certain amount of, like, a number of hits that are frost based. Uh, and then once it's frozen, you need to get a certain number of melee hits in a certain amount of time. It's a lot easier than it was, but it's still a pretty heavy requirement. Um, but it is, it's definitely soloable by a lot of different classes. I don't think I'm going to find Soundless. Oh, 
it up this way, because there's a few more skulls over there. Uh, mages can solo it. Here with the raid. Hello, Smeezes. How are you going? Hope you're having a wonderful night. Get the frost dagger from Storm Peaks. Uh, you don't even need that. As a as a frost mage, uh, as a mage, you can switch to frost. Um, use a bunch of ice lances to freeze it, and then if you use the heirloom dagger, um, and Icy veins. You so you you freeze it with the ice lance, then you pop icy veins and you pop lust, and you use there's an heirloom dagger. Uh, point six. Where is it? That one. One point eight. So you stack both haste buffs and then your your dagger, and it'll give you enough haste to stabby 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 fast enough. Just you've got to get the timing just right, um, but you'll be able to stab it in time. Uh, that's how I've been doing it for years, I guess. Um, and I can I can solo it just fine. No need for funky trinkets or any specific items that I have to like hunt down or anything. It's just an heirloom. Easy peasy. Uh, super easy for shaman. Yep, there are a lot of classes where it's just really, really easy. Like DK is another one. Um, super easy because they've got so much frost damage just naturally and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but oh, Kratnax just spawned. Beautiful. But yeah, the uh, Wowhead page for it's really helpful. Lots of people with their strategies for their specific class. There's a jewel crafting trinket. I think it's the true silver boar that spawns a boar, funnily enough, uh, that does melee damage. So if you're missing just a couple of hits, that can like push you over the edge. Yeah, there's there's a bunch of different ways to do it. <clears throat> but I haven't done tried doing it anything other than a mage yet, so um, it'll be interesting for me when I start going through all my tunes to get that kind of strategy for each of them down. I bet you, as soon as I don't need anything from it on that particular tune though, good lord, I'm not touching it. Pretty sure it drops a pet or something, but like, not worth. <laughs> Just wanna go in and smack shit, like. <laughs> ah. Well, out with it. See you around. Okay. That's what I needed. Brilliant. Um, I don't think there's a- there's, I thought there was a cache in my bag somewhere, but apparently not. I must have just- ah, oh, it mustn't have been a chest one. Right, so I'm at like 66% Paragon for that, so no, nah, no hope. That's okay. Um, Tolbarad is my next stop. After I finish with Tolbarad, which shouldn't take too long, I'm going to be jumping into Island Expeditions, and that is open to anyone who would like to join me. There's a ton of collectibles to get. Um, mmm. Be good fun. Oh. 
is really really good like really fucking good Battle time. Thank you so much, Koala John. Want to support Fia? Following and interacting with her on all the social media helps more than you realize. Brand deals are hugely reliant on those numbers, and there is an easy link for all those profiles right there. Particularly Instagram. We were talking about this earlier, but if you weren't here for that. Uh, Instagram is where like 80% of brand deals live. Uh, so if you're able to throw me a follow over there, it would go a long way to helping me go full time. Which would be absolutely incredible. It's like my goal at the moment, my dream. <laughs> full time. to Mu, Z, V, Elm, uh, Channel, Neke, Bod, and Spam. Congratulations to you on all your bonus shit. To the next one. I'm so bad at checking socials, rip. I use an art site and that's it, lol. I'm super forgetful, never been interested in social media. Well, I mean, like, in the past, I've had it, like, ping, you know, get notifications on my phone. Uh, and that has been, you know, my prompt to check the thing kind of stuff. Uh, but these days, because all of my social media is business related, What did I get? Oh! Bubble tea! So many pearls! That's amazing, and it's so wet. Yes. Good lord. Thank you so much for the bubble tea. And guess what flavor it is? Uh, that's a very good question. Brown sugar? Yep. What Drink is it? it? It does look a bit darker than uh, your standard original. Oh god, there's about water everywhere. There's water everywhere. Yep. <laughs> We have gingerbread syrup. We have gingerbread! Oh my god. That's so goddamn good. Thank you very much. And for once I made it right, too. What do you mean? I put a tea bag in it. They didn't come with tea bags. Oh no, they did. They yes. did, didn't they? Yep, yeah. cool. Awesome. And I've never made it with tea bags before. Seriously? Yep. No wonder we have so many extras, good lord. That's hilarious. Look! Look! His chair! His chair. Love that. Um, good. Yeah, so, um, because all of my social media is business related now, it's on my, like, daily tasks of things to do is check all the social medias. And then that has, like, a subtask listing 
all the social medias that I need to check so that I can make sure that I've done everything and I don't forget one because there's so many platforms, good lord. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, when this kind of shit becomes your business, it, like, yeah. You do what you gotta do, hey. <clears throat> Yeah, Sam, all of the chair. Flag bearer skins are only five bucks as well, which is kind of cool. I mean, that's US, obviously. Kill the spooders. <clears throat> this is 185 for these, isn't it? Yeah, I got 88, so I'm not gonna get it today. But we're making decent progress. Making decent progress. Making decent progress. Just, just missed it. My first poke ball today was so fucking good. Poke balls are incredible. And they like feel healthy. They're honestly one of my favorite things. Like they're definitely on the list of favorite foods. It's like sushi salad. Like how can you go wrong? <clears throat> Super noodle shrimp cream, salad, spicy soy sauce. Ooh, yum. Delightful. Verdict is in on the craft vegan gluten free mac and cheese. It is a win! Nice! Good to hear. So refreshing and healthy tasting. Seaweed salad is such a go to of mine in any situation that has it. Totally fair. Um, what I've done, like there's a there's a poke bowl place um, kind of near question mark. What? Why did that not come through? Hang on. Why didn't that come through? Thank you so much, Anon, for buying me this set of shamrock earrings. My god. They're they're beautiful and I cannot wait to wear them on Mondays and get the extra Mount Farm luck. But why the hell didn't that come through? Is there somewhere where I can like make it or like make it resend? Yes. Successfully displayed stream alert. I beg you I to am grateful. There we go. Thank you so much. Aren't they gorgeous? Aren't they fucking gorgeous? They're just under two centimeters. Like, I am grateful. And, okay, cool. It broke and played twice. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> so it was just exceptionally delayed. I got the email well and truly before the alert came through. 
Thank you so much, Anon. They didn't leave a name, but that's okay. We respect that. Much appreciated. The, the message is said early birthday wishes. So thank you so much. That is so sweet of you. And I'll absolutely, as soon as they arrive, goddamn, every fucking Mount Farm under. And like, pr let's be honest, most of February, <laughs> if they arrive in time, I will be putting them in my face and uh, and we'll be hoping for, for the well wishes from them. Thank you so much. So kind of you. They're beautiful. They are absolutely gorgeous. I have to go to bed so I make food for some reason. I have to eat it even though I'm not really hungry. You can always put it in the fridge. You can always, like, you know, leftovers exist. That's okay if you're not hungry. You can not eat them. You have, eaten them, have them later. Hello, nurse. Welcome back. Everything, everything is buggy. Yep. Like the Tolbarad dailies that have not rotated in approximately three years. I'm not even kidding. They're dailies that are supposed to rotate every day and there is an achievement for completing all of them all the different variations uh, and they have not rotated in approximately three years and i haven't done all of them because it was a pvp area and all this kind of stuff so fuck me i guess part of me wants to just like stream literally every day for like A fucking year or something. Just, just go live and do the Tolbarat dailies. And get a clip of me showing what day it is and what, what the dailies are. Posting that on the forums and then replying to that same thread every single day with this is, the, it's the exact same dailies today. It's the exact same dailies today. It's the exact same dailies today. Just like until they fucking fix it. I don't think they will, but like I would very much like for them to do so because guys. That's a bit ridiculous. <laughs> Fucking knew you would do that. Do what? It'd be a shame considering the food I made. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, yeah, I guess not everything survives well as, as leftovers, hey? I've been, oh my god, I watched, <laughs> I binge watched uh, on Netflix a show called Best Leftovers Ever. It was a competition show where they got three like home chefs in and they all were given leftovers and they had to recreate them into a new dish. And oh my God, the creativity was incredible. And like there were two rounds and the winners, the winner got like 10 grand uh, in a casserole dish and they called it a casserole, which made me kind of every time it happened, but that's okay. Um, that's what you get when you have a comedian hosting the show. Uh, but that's fine. You do sing like that? Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, how could I not, Shiva? It's literally the song. Uh, that thing is, I was really hungry when I started to cook, but even though I did not do much more than tasting, I kind of got full during the process. I know the feeling. It's like, oh, I have tasted food, therefore I must be full. It's like, no brain, you're a fuckwit. <laughs> I know the feeling well. And then I put all the food away and it gets to the point where it's not quite, like it's still warm-ish in the fridge. And then all of a sudden my brain goes, oh, I didn't actually get food. I need food now, please. And it's like, well, it's not hot anymore. Fucking, yeah, it's a time. So enjoyable. I love my brain. That's what I'm eating now anyway, yeah. Probably a good plan. Probably a good plan. Yeah, we didn't have the whole story to begin with, so that makes sense. Uh, there's a YouTube channel where they grab a restaurant quality chef and a, like, a grandmother and get them to cook the same meal, but they swap their ingredients. Oh, cool. Interesting. All right, here we go. We are turning in the Tolbarad dailies, which means next stop, island expeditions. 
So if you are someone who wants to join me for Island Expeditions, I would recommend you switch to the appropriate character now. Because by the time you log in and, and all that kind of stuff, I'll be there ready to go. Strength and honor. Blood and thunder. Sub sub. What do you need? Be safe. What do you need? Ah, oh, it's alliance controlled, so I can't do that. Uh, I have 96 top ride commendations. Not too shabby. We're more than halfway there, I think. Nice. For the alliance! <laughs> Hmm. <clears throat> what am I gonna do? There you go. Custom group. It's called Fear IE. If you're interested in jumping in, feel free to queue up. And uh, I'll leave it up for a few minutes. And if I don't get any, well, uh, no one in the queue, then I'll just uh, do it by myself for a little bit and try it again later. <clears throat> So what one am I actually supposed to be targeting? Ginjo's Eternal Hound. Okay. Hi there. No mount. Risen Mare. No mount. No mount. So the only one I can actually get today is the Risen Mare, unless something actually drops, which is so rare. <laughs> but it has happened a couple times. So there is that. So Mogus have to spawn on the island. They can be native on Dread Chain or appear as a special invasion. Common type of invasion mount drop is still very low. So what are our options this week? <clears throat> Jorondal with Rykel, Rotting Maya with Pirates, and Verdant Wows with Primal Druids. Okay, so it can't drop unless... Um, yeah, that's okay. It can't drop unless it's a special invasion this week. Uh, hello, Feral! Um, search for your IE and custom group finder. Yes, for your, I tried the same place today. Much more difficult than I expect. Oh no, Pess! Oh no! They do take a bit of practice. They absolutely do take a bit of practice. Um, I've had mine for quite a few years now. Um, but once you kind of get the flow, it's the whole idea is you got to be quick, but you also got to be precise. So sacrifice a little bit of speed for your precision and you'll end up with a much kind of better result. You just want to finish last time. Are you sure? Absolutely. <laughs> Not fast enough. It comes with practice. It comes to practice. Um, 
Big advice would be to like put down a sheet of paper or something that you can toss out and um, and like have everything there ready to go. So like I have the nail polish there um, with the lid, like with the brush not screwed in, like just sitting there. I've got my stamper, I've got my scraper, all that kind of stuff. And so I grab the thing, I put, you know, just, just enough, just enough, which again, you'll figure out with practice. And then I pop the brush in the bottle, but that's it. I just pop it in, grab the scraper, scrape, and just toss it back onto the desk or whatever surface because I've got paper there, so it's not going to get nail polish everywhere. Just toss it back down, grab the stamper, roll it, and then pop it on. Um, but obviously that's a lot easier said than done. Um, it does take a bit of practice, but you'll get there. You'll absolutely get there. <clears throat> yeah, no, that's fine, Pearl. Not a problem. Uh, if you, how about you blow all your gold on the beamer? No. <laughs> Hello, Closure. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, buy some crappy nail polish and stuff I have. A super quick dry... Oh, yeah, no. You need, like... You need stuff that is, like, um, really, really, really pigmented. Because if you don't, because you're putting such a thin layer in such a delicate design, it'll be sheer. Mostly fine if you're doing, like, dark over light and stuff like that, but... Um, it really is worth investing in some actual, like, stamping polish as well. Super worth it. Um, I know that the... I don't know if you guys get Sinful Colours, the brand. This one. Um, the white Sinful Colours, I think the shade's called Snow Me White. Yep, Snow Me White. Um, is actually a really good white polish for stamping. It's quite pigmented. Um, so in terms of like drugstore stuff that you can go with. Uh, I've tried some of their other colors with stamping and they don't work nearly as well, but it's a really good stamping white that's pretty cheap uh, rather than having to order something in specially. But I do, like once I'd been stamping for a while, I bit the bullet and I bought a set of, um, of stamping polishes like from an Australian company and holy fuck, it just completely changed the game. It made it so much easier and just so much cleaner. The result, like it was uh, completely miles apart. It was so worth it. So fucking worth it. Some pleasure work better than others. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. No one burn, no pleasure. Dries too fast. Gonna hit up the cheap stuff at Walgreens. Yeah, especially because you're scraping it into such a thin layer. Yeah, it'll all the liquid will just evaporate instantly. For sure. Um, if you're picking up just like random cheap stuff, I'd go with darker polishes and stamp them over lighter ones. Um, because if you try to stamp a lighter one over a darker one or something, it just it won't show up if there's not enough pigment. Um, and so, yeah, no. But um, yeah, great way to like practice though. Where I live? Mm. Yeah, right now. Wait, you're US. Yep. US and Oceanic are the same region. Mm. Reinstalling add ons takes like two weeks though. Yep. Correct. You are not wrong. You are not wrong. Sorry, I'm really hungry, so I'm like having some food. And I'll kick off the island. Your EU. Oh no! That's okay. Enjoy your time walking. Hello, taco drying so fast. Yeah. Yeah. Christine definitely prefers her ombres to her stamping. And don't even get us started on water bubbling. That can go fuck itself. You know, stamping spend a lot of time in nail polish. I've read it and I was really into doing nail art, of course. Mm hmm. Stamping is a lot of fun, it takes a bit of practice. But, like, it's a beautiful result once you get there. <clears throat> Especially once you, like, get to the point where you're learning how to fill in the stamps before you put them onto your fingers and all that kind of stuff. I'm not at that level. Um, I always seem to smudge the stamps, like, destroy them with whatever brush I'm using by trying to colour them in. Um, but once you can get to that, oh god, it looks, it looks just beautiful.
tiny artwork. I honestly only bought the set because I saw a way to do French tips with this stamper and then didn't even do that first. I love that for you. That's brilliant. <laughs> That's so funny. We're here, Islands? Yes. Would you like to join me, Yori? Just have your nail into the stamper. The blob of polish on it. Um, maybe? I don't know. So, um, the whole thing where you like, so there are two ways to do it. Either you do the stamp and then while it's on the stamper, you like color it in with other polishes and stuff. And then like you finish it, like you let it all dry down and then you put like a clear coat on your nails, let that get tacky and then put the stamp on because it's all dry. So that helps it stick. Or you um, do the stamp and stamp it onto a silicon, like a nail art mat and then color it in on there. And then you put clear coat over that, let it dry and then peel it off like a decal and cut it out and like stick it on your nail. Yeah, those, those two kind of ways to do it. Both of which I uh, suck at. Yes. You can solo islands now. You can, yes. But it's faster and more fun with friends. Uh, plus, I'm eating dinner, so it's okay. I can wait for a little bit. And if no one joins, then that's fine. Then I'll just, uh, I'll do it by myself. But it sounds like you're always going to join me. So that's good. Yeah, um, I was, I was like woozy levels of hungry before dinner was delivered. So, and by delivered, I mean like brought to me by Jas because he's just amazing. We didn't get like Uber Eats or anything. Cause we fucking broke. <laughs> Thank you, Shiba. Don't have friends. You've got like the entirety of Twitch. Easy to find people to play with. Please note that I use the term friends here very, very loosely. I'm eating my veggies. Um, 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 um. <laughs> Friends in this economy. It's a funny story though. Finally cleaned my desk the other day and found both glass nail files I'd previously thought lost to the garbage can monster. I think Fizz implying she wouldn't let us crash on her couch. No, because that would involve giving out my address and that has caused issues in the past. <clears throat> there are certainly some of you that I would consider getting an Airbnb with for things like packs, but um, coming to my house, absolutely not. My house is my sanctuary. No one gets to come here unless they live here. Or unless they're like, my mum. <laughs> Hey, Sean. My website has a whole bunch of meal prep ideas and got lost down a rabbit hole. Ooh, yikes. What kind of meal prep ideas? <clears throat> I'm, um, I'm still doing, like, overnight oats for jazz. And then, like, mince and veg and passata and rice for lunch. How often do you check your PO box asking for a friend? Um, I check it every time I get an email that tells me uh, that I've got mail, but the last couple of times I've gotten mail, I haven't gotten an email about it. So 
putting out into the universe, if anyone has sent anything to my PO box, um, and you don't want me to find out about it, if you want it to be a surprise to me, luckily, you have a ja <clears throat> you have a jazz you can talk to. If your tracking indicates that it, it's arrived, you can always DM Jat um, and ask him if he's got the PO box key anyway. So you can DM Jat and ask him to go check it. Um, and he is very good at not telling me that. He's done it a few times now. So that is a way to, to keep it a surprise from me, but still um, have it <laughs> notified. Um, all sorts, brekkie lunch, dinner, snacks, desserts. Ooh, you might have to send it to me, Ori. Reminded me I need to buy my corned beef in this. Put my corned beef in the soy cocoa so it's ready for you tomorrow. Yes, he's a good man. He is. He is. Some might even say he's exceptional. Mm hmm. Dinner's finished, let's go. Dazoku! Welcome, traveler! May your sails be full of wind oh. and your soul full of purpose. <clears throat> Are you ready for the epic journey? I can always relist later. Surprise, I just didn't tell people who had addresses listed at the beginning. Holy cow, at some point it has a long way to go though, it does. Thank you so much, Purse, that's so sweet of you. Oh my goodness. That is so sweet of you. No, I'm no jacket. That's okay. Let's just go one pack at a time, Yori. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. As long as we beat the NPCs, we'll be fine. <laughs> I'm fucking just over it. Like, oh, look, it's Jack. Oh. <laughs> Fuck, that was funny. I find it really interesting that you and your first pet have like the you're a part of the party names, but then your second pet doesn't, like the color of your names. So interesting. Don't get yourself you special. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, so we're looking out for the special message that we have an invasion of Mogu. Or we're just looking for doubloons. Two pets. Yeah, hunter pets. It was about three weeks ago, the Aussie cards were taking a while, so it still could be a while. That's okay. That's okay. <clears throat> uh, Beast Masters can select from the first talent or to have two pets. They can. Like a mogu to me. But I didn't see a special invasion message or anything. Are we? Different wilds. Ah, oh, it could be a. No, it's a necrolord. That's not a primal druid. <clears throat> so it's just the game. Love having two pets. It is pretty cool. Oh, shit. 
Yo, I just showed up. That's switch. No. Give me a second. <clears throat> Okay, so Hincho is not gonna drop today. I will do the battle thing in a second. I just need to not die if possible. We have dragons landing over here. Oh, two invasions. Okay. Still no movie though. <clears throat> I did not know that's what that did. Fuck me. Alright, that was interesting. <clears throat> so that was Rod of the Thunder King. Got about half the ship left to fill. Keep your eyes shut. Okay. Now that that's done, congratulations to Z, V, Dunno, Neke, Spam, and Bod on all your bonus shit. Sorry about the delay there. Um, as most people here know, game takes priority over stream readers here. We do play it as a background game. Uh, Alright. Berserker. <clears throat> uh, I've got a whole bunch of uh, full skins due to be designed and released soon, and uh, one of them is going to be a berserker. <clears throat> Good evening, Tread. Hello. My DI has pets named Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Oh, that's beautiful. Pink LX for the win. Good evening. Heads down for a little longer. to join. We have a spot available if you are. Hmm. Where did I get that? Fantastic. I finally got that mark of the heavy hide. <clears throat> Brilliant. 
No idea where that came from, but I'm not going to complain. Um, so I have 65 doubloons. Alright, let's go. Ah, it's you! <clears throat> It's not in there, okay. It must be down in the group section. Still. <clears throat> Tis. Three fifty nine attempts at reckons. Chance so far ninety seven point two nine. One in a hundred is not right. These are not one in a hundred mounts. They can't be. They can't be. <clears throat> this is the place. Get to it. The Azerites waiting for you. I'm stretching all over my keyboard and seeing all the bloody buttons! Oh, Yuri! That's adorable. That's okay, the alliance in the PvE, are, they're trash, so don't stress about, like, all right, winning and guys. stuff. We'll, we'll get There's there. <clears throat> Oh, oh, Kvalde, never mind. The Mogu come in fog as well. <laughs> I got really excited for half a second. <laughs>
got about half the ship left to fill. Keep your eyes sharp. <coughs> Down, so there must be a cave here somewhere. Doggos. Chunky. We are almost done. You are doing well. <clears throat> to check the cost of that cache that was that had the mare in it. I think it was 175, but I could be wrong. Was 175? Thank you. <laughs> Why can't I get them faster, Yuri? I want them faster. Like, I want them now. Oh. The worst bit is, until I get specifically Kinsho, it'll still be the same number. Like, it'll still be at the same point on my list. Which just sucks. A day when oh, well. you see no land is a good day. Hmm. Still haven't gotten everything from the Venti yet. Neither have I, I don't think. I think because I've been focusing on the mounts, I haven't gotten everything yet. So for the additional bags, totally fair. Totally fair. Features BFA Island Expeditions. I'm not even at 60% completely. Like, mother of fuck.
Oh, it doesn't even say like vendors. That's interesting. The skies grit for some exploring. Well, at least King Shirt comes from a bunch of different salvage. We just haven't seen it in a couple weeks. Like, Island Thunder Scale only comes from one kind of salvage. King Shirt comes from. What's that? I'm out of combat. Uh, from three, no, two, two different ones. The mayor comes from one and Squawks comes from two, so it's like, it's gonna be a time. There are gonna be weeks where we get down here and none of the caches give me a fucking mount. I'm actually tempted to not buy the cache to get the Risen Mare. I'm tempted to save the doubloons until King Show comes up so that I can have another break from islands. <laughs> Because, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Like, it's in, after Kinsho, there's another 10 mounts before another Island Expedition one comes up. So, it might be nice to have a bit of a break again. Let's see, though. Let's see. Just give me two weeks until the cache still hasn't popped up and I just pull all of my hair out and leave it in a pile next to the vendor. It'd be fine. Raikul longboats are making landfall. A raiding party. They are after our stash. <clears throat> oh, Jesus. I was not expecting him. Got about half the ship left to fill. Keep your eyes sharp. That was fun. He's popped up out of nowhere. Great. Chunk of Azurite that it thinks is over there. It's on the side.
Mechano, Strider down! Need evac! ASAP! The hull is nearly full. Just a bit more and we will be done! Three bags of doubloons. That's nice. Yay! Woo! Uh, good. Let's open those. Ooh! 9, 16, 25. 137 total. Not Can you bad. Taste the salt in the air? Now you are bad. Old. Are you ready for the epic journey? Can't it be one of the pets I need? I know, right? Like, come on. Come on. There are only, I think, two pets left that I need. I don't think I've ever even seen them. Like, I don't even think anyone I've been in a group with has seen them drop either. Like, it's just... Yep. Snowfall Village and Crestfall. I should Crestfall, Pandora and theme map, up to his... You can buy them off the auction house, though. <clears throat> that is the only good side about the, the islands, is that the pets, you can buy them, and if you buy them, it still counts towards the achievements and stuff. Um, which is really nice. But I know how annoying that can be. Like, I, I know that feeling. I don't want to do that. Finally, off the board. Not just that, but I know I'll buy them and then they'll drop the very next fucking island I do. Pretty dragons. Just want to salvage things up today. Yeah, there. Um, so the Hopling drops from Snow Blossom Salvage and the Brine Shell from Mine drop from Reef Whispering Reef Salvage. Um, but I'm I'm imagining that you've got a few other ones that, like, you, you'll have different ones that you don't have. But yeah, Island Dragons are gorgeous. <clears throat> Maybe we'll get the Island Thunderscale to drop. I certainly wouldn't complain about that. Be lovely, wouldn't it just? <clears throat> that is the ne the island thunder scale is the next one on my island list of things to get, but. As I said before, there are 10 mounts between this one and that one, so if I can get Kinsho, I won't be back here for a little while, I don't think. <clears throat> Though, if I got Kinsho to drop, I would need to get my level 60 alts into Corfia. Yeah, Escaped Wildling is on that list. So I'd, I'd need to get my druid in.
<clears throat> so after Kinshu, there's um, Horrid Dreadwing, which is Harika the Horrid's mount. Um, there's Spectral Steed, which is Baradun's Warden's Exalted, but that's the um, that's the Alliance version of the Tolbarad mount. So when you get one, you get both, so I can ignore that. Um, then there's Valfia the Unrelenting, who is obviously Night Fae, uh, but it's not Corthia, so I can just go do that on my Night Fae chain. Uh, Tormentors of Dorgast, it's Hand of Bamethra. Which is a whole thing, so that would be some work. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, and then Uzi Necro Rare Egg times two. So I'd basically scoot through all my sixties and just see if any of them have like to and do all, any and all Necrolord callings. Um, to try to get the oozing egg on as many of them as possible. <clears throat> then there's service metal, but it's an alliance one. Oh. Priestess's Moonsaber. So this is from, um, uh, Warfronts. Is there a... Not a horse surprising, surprisingly. No horde equivalent. Ah, oh, so it... Bloodthirsty Dreadwing. Right, so I do that one and that grants the one that's on the list. It's 750 tokens. <laughs> Good lord! Huh? On a man's... Mm, I have 160. Good. Wonderful. Ah, uh, <laughs> fuck. Oops. Uh, and then the Escape Wildling. Then Honeyback Hive exalted, so that'd be a fun grind. Uh, and then the Underrot on Mythic, and I'm not sure if you've heard, but I have, um, 50 characters now. Uh, so I could, if I had enough people around who were willing to, to carry my ass through the Underrot on Mythic, um, then we could, then I could run many of them through to get the Underrock Krog, and then back around to Island Expeditions. So it's an interesting mix of, of different types of mounts after this one. Um, as long as you have Renown 80 on one, you can skip to chapter three or four of Corthia. Yeah, you can skip the first two chapters, but skipping the first two chapters also means you skip, you don't get any rewards that those first two chapters would have given you. Um, so, like, it, it's it's actually a, a proper decision to be made because you get like tokens for gear and stuff like that uh, and without that gear depending on what you've done on those alts it they may struggle if they're under geared to shit like mine are um then they might actually struggle to do anything in Corthia without those without that gear that you get from chapters one and two um so i'm undecided on where, whether or not i do it or not i'm, I'm really undecided because on one side yay skip on the other side ooh because <laughs> Corthia is not as busy as it used to be, so um, I will. I'm likely to have to do a fair bit of stuff myself. I have 50 characters. Now. I know, right, Zem? Holy shit, right? I wonder if I could find enough people to carry me through, carry all 50 of them through under it. There are enough people who want that mount, right? Mm, apparently, so Zem, but she didn't mention it previously. Fourth year is harder on to get. Oh fuck yeah, it is. Absolutely. Agreed. Oh. Cool. How dare you hide this from us? You'd help, Chibi? Awesome. Sounds like a plan. Well, it'll be a while before we get there anyway, I think, but, um, yeah, it'll be fun times. <clears throat> Obviously, I also wouldn't be able to get through 50 runs of fucking Underrot Mythic in a six hour stream either. But hey, look, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting. Good day, Sagenda. 
We are almost Enjoy your luck, Kaz. Well. Enjoy. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Frost skin and the Thunder Scale Wealth. I got two pets and two bags of stuff. Cool! Battle time! Ugh, BFA content pog indeed! Mounts! I want them. Oh, I've got three new mounts today. I'd like a few more. Oh, we'll see how we go. No worries, Yuri. Not a problem at all. Oh, excuse me. Yes, thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah, I'm on uh, 634. 634 now. Uh, yeah, 634. That's account wide. Mounts and titles? Ah, oh, channel. Awesome. It was so much fun. I enjoyed that so- like, I enjoyed doing that stuff so much. It was so good. That's crazy. I'm about toys and unique pets. Um... Toys, I've got 484. Although I did get a new one today, so I think that's on 485 now. Um, and then pets. Uh, 1,266. According to data for Azeroth, at least. <clears throat> um, okay, congratulations to Bjorn, Channel, Krazy, Bod, Dunno, Neke, Zam, Spam, and Hyper, uh, Hyperion, rather. Uh, congratulations to all of you on your bonus shit. Uh, next up, we have a token chest. So if you are a little short on tokens to push along your battle pass slash your, your progress through the glitched event, this is the time to place those units. Pop them on the field. Um, alongside my chair flag bearer. I'm so glad. Look, it's chair on a flag. Look at that. It's my it's my newest skin. It's chair. It's chair. It's, it's on the flag. Yep. Good. Uh, but get your tokens. Place your units. Get your tokens. Uh, data for what? Data for Azeroth. You know, the place that WoW is based. Uh, yes, unique. I did say 1,266 unique pets, I believe. Um, I'm back. Welcome back. Fantastic. Alrighty. The salt in the air? Now you are warm. Yeah, um, DFA doesn't tell you how many you have, like, total. Uh, it just tells you unique. So, I can't tell you what the other number is uh, without opening up in-game, which I did not do. Um... Thank you. Uh, what am I doing? This one. Oh no, shit! Well done, Sam. Well done. account mount still well to get the ball I guess oh for sure but the fact that you've got fewer means that you have more easy ones to get left this is the issue now that I'm down to like only just over two I think I've got 204 left to collect they're all fucking hard to get I've got all the easy ones I've got all the easy ones so if you've got 200 
then you've still got a bunch of really easy ones to go get. Ah, the scent of prey is in the air. There's still a whole bunch that I'm not like that are unmade like unobtainable now, so I can't get them. Um, but there are 906 mounts in the game currently. She said there's a whole bunch that so like 838 of them are obtainable. Well, at least for me, um, because I've got a bunch that you can't get anymore. So my number might be higher than yours if you started playing later or, or something like that. But, yeah, so I've got 234, I've got 204 left to collect. And I'm gonna keep going till I get as many of them as I can. One day I'm gonna have nothing but PvP mounts left on that fucking list, I'm gonna hate it. Some island trolls just arrived. Looking to loot the island, I bet. Keep your head in. How did you find that out? As I said before, data for Azeroth. It's where I get all of my data from. Data for Azeroth. It's a website. I hate you really lost you. I mean, just sucked so much. Aw, Zam. So, Caged Bear, what, what exactly are you looking for? What's the item name? Simplary.com is also a good source to see which mounts you're missing. Yeah, but it won't give you the data that Data for Azeroth does. It just tells you what you've got and what you don't have. Uh, whereas Data for Azeroth allows you to compare yourself to everyone else um, that's on the API. It also won't, unfortunately, like print numbers. Like, you've got 75 out of 283 from this expansion. <laughs> But no, simple armory is exceptionally simple. Like it's very, very simple, um, but it's it's good for just like at a glance and for well, not even at a glance because the stuff that you don't have, you have to hover over to see what it was. Um, but look, it's not it's not bad. Um, I still have like I've got a, a link to my simple armory. If you type exclamation simple armory, it'll come up. But um, I don't really use it so much anymore. DFA just has so much more information available that helps me. But each to their own, you know? You gotta use what works best for you, hey. But welcome on in, Dolores. I hope you're having a lovely day. Black form out. Ah, gotcha. Okay. How many characters have you, have you got to cycle through? About half the ship left to fill. Keep your eyes sharp. Apparently, my rarest mount is only obtained by 3% of the players. Yeah, it's cool seeing that kind of data, isn't it? It's mine. One moment, please. Uh, mine is less than 1%, but it's a class mount, so that makes sense. Um. My rarest that isn't a class mount is uh, obtained by 1.1102% of players. Which is really funny because it's a vendor mount. Mm, just from Dex Release Reliance. Ah, gotcha. I really like how Data for Azeroth shows you things like Realm First for some of your achievements. Yeah. It is very cool. I'm first on my server for alt score by 210 points. Well done. Well done. I'm pretty sure I'm first on mine. I am, but by how much is the quest? Whoa! Huh? <laughs> so, I'm on 2,549. Number two, second place, is on 1,440. So I'm first by more than 1,000 points. 
first by more than a thousand levels. That's, um... Jesus. Okay. Sure. Ah, <clears throat> uh, phew, it's more like a sad thing I do. Oh, wait, if you- Ah, uh, gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Went to the site and entered my main's name in Phantom. Number one on that realm for most pets. Well done. Well done. Where am I? I'm 24th uh, on my realm for, for pets with my 1266. Yeah, top on my realm has 1,439. I'll get there. I'll get there. I've just been spending so much time leveling my 50-50s that I uh, have been neglecting the other sides of, co of completionist and completionism. Oh. There we go. I got two pets again. Brilliant. Mm. Oh, put. That's fine. I think if I wanted to up my completion score, you see no land, the easiest way to do that would be maybe quests. Because I've got like nearly 4,000 quests I haven't done. So that's nearly 40,000 points I can get. Fair winds and following seas. Nearly 40,000 would put me near to 600k. And it put me second on my server. Not too far behind. Because, I mean, like, completion score, so your mounts, leveled pets, toys, titles, and exalted reputations are worth 100, but a lot of those take a lot of effort. Whereas 10 points for recipes and quests, quests are super easy. Like, so many quests are so easy to just knock over really quick and just, like, for 10 points. But I also do need to, like, level a ton of pets. And go get them. <laughs> There's still, like, a whole lot of pets I don't have from the pet battle dungeons and stuff. Mm, secrets. This We're doing that soon. Next week, isn't it? Explode. Gotta this week. This fuck, it's Wednesday. It's Wednesday we're doing some- fuck. Wednesday we're doing WoW Secrets. Good. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional streamer person. What are you talking about? pets. What are you doing? I know! The game is just laughing at me. It's like, ha 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 ha, have all of these pets. No mounts for you. Ah ha ha ha. Hi, the this one I can't do pet battles. They drive me nuts. Oh, I love them. I have so much fun. Chibi, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to the Fianari. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy your time with us. No joke, I got the Lore Master time from a year and a half because I had to do it in spurts. Would have gone crazy. Nah. I bashed it out before. Like, um, like, look. 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 Look, 2009. Not 2019, 2009. Nine. Um, so that's before they had the, like, achievement per zone. Lore Master of Eastern Kingdoms was literally complete 800 quests. And then Kalimdor was like 750 quests. Um, so I would grab, I'd go onto Wowhead and I would go to a zone, like a zone page, and I'd go down to the bottom and click the quests tab, and I would copy paste the entire list into a Word doc. Uh, then I would go to the first quest in the document, and I'd find out who gave the quest, and I'd go to, because you couldn't query the server either, 
Um, so I'd go to that NPC and I'd see if they had a quest for me. And if they did, I'd do it and cross it off. If they didn't have any quests for me, I'd have a look through the list at all the quests that they, like on the Wowhead, of all the quests that they gave, and I'd take all of them out of the Word Doc. And I'd keep going until the Word Doc was empty, and then I'd go to the next zone. And that's how I did Lawmaster back in 2009. It took me months. Months and months and months. Just because of all the running around, I, I'd, I'd spend three hours or longer going and finding all of these NPCs and not a single one of them would have a quest for me because I'd done them all. But there was no way for me to verify that because the UI, the, the API just didn't have that back then. Um, and then I did it. I did the last quest and I got the achievement and I went, I, I leaned back like this. I was on, I was sitting on like a kitchen table, like a wooden kitchen table with the back that comes up to like here. And so I put my hands where I had and I leant back. And then I went, now what? <laughs> I, it was, it was such a sense of accomplishment though. It felt so good to get it done. It was amazing. And Lawmaster is like the first thing I do in every expansion. Ah, uh, see, your after achievements even came into the game. Yep. Correct. Mount got. Ah, uh, yeah, I got three mounts earlier on in stream, but nothing from islands yet. Blessed be all the things. Yeah. Look, just eat. Blessed be the ability to fucking query the server. Is quest flag completed true or false? Like, good lord. If I had had that back then, it would have taken me weeks, not months. Fear for you. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, it was a. It was a time. Oh, is that the way I feel when I say I'm so totally finished? Yes. Well, yesterday, literally yesterday, uh, I finished a a challenge that I'd been working on since June last year. Um, I decided that I want the heartbreak amount. I mean, obviously, like, you know, everyone would like to have it. It's nice, whatever. But I'm like, nah, fuck this. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. It's mine. Let's do this. Uh, and I thought, okay, what's going to be the best way to get it? Um, as to have the maximum number of attempts, right? So how many characters can you have on your account? 50. What is the minimum level requirement to be able to get the heartbreak amount to drop? Level 50. So, fears 50-50s were born. And yesterday, I got it. My last, the last character on my account hit level 50. Which is why I have 2,549 levels on my account. 50 50s. <clears throat> Not gonna lie, it felt pretty fucking awesome. Ah, uh, I've Lawmaster for Legion Award, my main shows, three storylines between classic and PC completed. Oops. <laughs> That's right. Uh, Lawmaster's account wide, so um, if you're leveling tunes, you can choose to level them through the areas that you you need Lawmaster still, and like knock over the zones as you go that way. And now that everything scales as well, it's so much easier to do. Uh, what three did you get? So I got um, Hunter Akana's mount, Deep Coral something something from on the Alliance side from Najita. Uh, and because there's a Horde equivalent for that mount, they both unlocked, which was nice. So that's the first two. Um, and then I got my last lost Razorwing egg in Corthia. So I went and turned in the seven that I had in my bags. Turns out I'd already turned in three. Um, so I handed in the last seven and I got that mount too. So it's been a pretty productive, like a pretty productive weekend, let's be honest. Uh, Mount Makeup was the Amber Scorpion. Long shift today, at least it was fairly quiet. Oh, that's good to hear. 
Like there, there is a there is a delicate balance. Like you don't want it to be so quiet that the shift drags on, but you also don't want it to be so busy that you're just losing your mind constantly. So I'm really glad that it was like in that comfortable window, but towards the quiet side of the window. That makes me very happy for you. Gareth, thank you, Shibi. Much appreciated. Except Northrim because it's shite. Well, not. Like, look, I mean, it takes ages to get anywhere in terms of leveling, but so does BC. It's because they're the oldest sets of quests now. I mean, yes, I know Vanilla came out before of them, but Vanilla's been revamped through Cataclysm and stuff, so, like, BC and Northrend are the oldest untouched zones. Ice Crown has 11 chapters. It feels so long. Ice Crown also has a lot of ping-ponging around the place. Like, you don't go somewhere and then kind of clear in the area and then go somewhere else and then clear in the area. You go back and forth a whole lot of, lo 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 that, a whole lot of the time, uh, and that travel time really adds to it. It just blows it out. I'm on 180. Do I buy a cache in the hopes I get the Risen Mare, or do I save for Kinsho's Eternal Hound, which is technically what I'm actually trying to get? Um, dragged a smidge, it was more because it was my stiff of the week, and I only had six hours sleep. Oh, apathy, absolutely. I feel that, I feel that. So the future center ice crown had to go off and do something else. Fair, fair, ice, ice crown also has a lot of elite quests. It does, yeah, it does. It's dinner sorted, yay, how goes the mount farm? Three mounts so far today. I don't think I'm gonna get a fourth. Does anyone have an opinion? Should I go for the risen mare, even though it's further down the list? Uh, or should I save up for the King Shows? Like, should I save up and then once a cache comes up that has King Shows in it, I can just buy like seven of them at once. Uh, Tuesday and Wednesday off at least. Next week is even better. Yay! With Zombie Pony, get one. Save up. I think you get another mount. Alright, give me a second. Let me, let me do a poll. One moment, please. No! Fuck. There you go. Two minute poll. Ugh. Top of chat, you should be able to see a like a, a poll box that you can vote in. <laughs> Depends on how quickly you want to see progress. So here's the thing. If I got the Risen Mare, I'd still have to come back and do Islands next week because Kinsho is higher up on my list. So I can't progress past Kinsho's Eternal Hound until I get it. Even if I got the Risen Mare, I'd still have to come straight back to fucking islands next week. <laughs> Save up, gambling. Oh, it's still gonna be gambling. It's just holding on to the doubloons until the right box comes up to buy. It's still it's still the exact same thing. It's still buying a box hoping that there's a mount in it. Um, it's just saving up and waiting for a different box to pop. Uh, I'm not seeing the poll. Are you on mobile? Also try refreshing the page, possibly. Uh, moving more vendor stuff, try salvage soon, need another 20, yas. Actually, while this poll's going on, I do wonder. Um, it should be at the top of your chat box. All right, if it's not, I'm not sure. Oh, there you go. Right on there. Um, I need a few things still. It's about 300. 500, 650, 850, 1,150. I think it's 1,150 I need to buy everything. <laughs> Later. <laughs> mm, not sure. Boxes were always the same. No, they've got like, so if you have a look, they've got like a whole bunch of different stuff that could be in them. And you get three items out of the whole big, huge drop. Like there's a massive, massive, endless list of shit that can drop from them. And it randomly rolls three. Yep. Oh, for fuck's sake. If 
For those of you who can't see the poll, the vote was split exactly 50-50 with seven votes for each. Jas, did you vote? Chatty and everyone, always, always. I had to do that on purpose. Oh, they always do. People like to fuck with me. Jas, you there? You didn't? Try now. Okay, cool. This is, Jas usually reserves his vote so that he can be the tiebreaker. Uh. <laughs> Remember, everything has its use. <laughs> I did, however, get a BOE dagger that I don't have, which is nice. Uh, and that one apparently sells for 30k on my server. So that's not too bad. And two island flotsam, which cost 100 sea uh, seafarers doubloons each. Can I sell them back for 100 each? What? Johnny would be interested in this item, but what? why though? What does she want for it? Greetings, rich I guess it doesn't go there. I'll figure it out. Yay, brain noises. All right, let's go. I would have said that you'll get a mount. Nah. That's no mount. Welcome, traveler. No mount. Never trust on chat. Yeah, this is the mistake I make consistently. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, I didn't either. But you're going, Jess, I'll go opposite. I mean, only when you did the quest originally. Yeah, okay. That's right. I'm, fuck it. I'll do it later. <laughs> CBF. CBF, what do you even get for it though? Like just gold or what? And flot, Sam. Is that a lower up item? Ah! Pfft. Who gives a shit? Alright, you get a Johnny Johnny figurine. Yeah, grants 250 reputation with Zandalar Empire. Yes, Up to Exalted. Get to it. The Azerite's waiting for you. Useless. Useless. That could have been a mount. Fucking useless. I mean they they bind to account, but well, maybe I have a look and see if um Zandalari gives any like Rep uh, like uh, recipes or anything, and send it to one of my alts and get them bumped up so that they can Our buy those. Let us avoid them if possible. I keep feeling like I should be looting these. I keep forgetting that they cannot be looted. Dragons! Music. Do you like the music? Island Thunderscale would be nice. In all the right places. Brilliant.
Looks like the Azadite is drawing in on dead Vrykul. Yes, that is an ugly sight. <laughs> I love Rezogrin, he's awesome. He makes me giggle. Which makes this shit go a little faster. I have some brand leather farming. Enjoy, I think. I hope you have fun. be done in no time yay it has been years since i have seen a tonka the last time did not end so well <laughs> time for some payback <laughs> tonka, that's rare not done any for a while be nice to see you but azeroth hello fight how you going We had Tonka allied race. It'd be fun. <clears throat> At least something similar on Tauren. Word. I have two more pets. Neither of which I need. I'm not just on stream registry. Yeah, right. Yuri, got a mount. Ugh. I'm assuming with that message, anyway. <laughs> I didn't, Chibi. I didn't get him out. You already did. Person I'm running with. Uh, congratulations to Zam, Spam, Dunno, Bjorn, BQ, and Neke on all your bonus shit. It's pretty. Which mount, Yuri? Fuck. 
<laughs> I'm in Stream Raiders, I cannot see. <laughs> ah, the Island Thunder Scale, fantastic. Congratulations. Uh, Alright, where am I going to place you? Here. How about here? Let's just still get one. I, I doubt that. I've had three today already. Uh, and the island mounts are just so fucking rare. So fucking rare. Alright. Um, open that up. Round 17. Ah, okay. A <laughs> <My> purple dragon. <laughs> Let's go. It's not all nine IE mounts. I've got five of them. I've got four to go. There you go. Dugan. Excuse me. Yeah, I've just got the four to go. Um. God, and then trying to farm up all the transmog, that's gonna take a while. Long while. Alright. The cracks are down, friends. We'll get the detector online. Pretty sure I've gotten more mounts from the salvage crates than I have from actually doing the islands. But I could be wrong, I don't quite remember. It's kind of upsetting that it doesn't like give you a higher chance of getting stuff you don't have already. So that eventually, you know, just it's almost like some bad luck protection. So as you buy 50 fucking crates of salvage and get everything except the mount, um, then the mount might drop, you know, has a, a much higher likelihood to drop. But I can only imagine the mess of an algorithm that'd be. You need to fuck off. mine from the crates. Yeah, definitely. What I've heard is the crates are oh, the bad luck protection and they suck at it, yeah. Yep. Agreed. I mean, at least it's like, it's it's an extra chance every 17 fucking islands. I, and that's okay. But it's not like... It's not... It's not BLP. It's just extra loot, you know. About half the ship left to fill. Keep your eyes. Shut. 
You're sniffing like you have a Colombian cold. Thank you very much for accusing me of being on drugs. Um, I have an autoimmune condition. My sinuses are permanently inflamed. I understand that it can be irritating. Trust me. It is more irritating to me than it is to you. I am basically in constant fucking pain. Uh, there are much nicer ways to ask that question. But, uh, welcome on in, I guess. Probably not a good idea to, you know, accuse people on the internet of breaking the law. Just FYI. <laughs> Yeah, it, it really sucks. It, it really sucks. My, yeah, sinus is permanently inflamed. Uh, usually it's not sniffing to, like, retain fluids in, in my face. Uh, it's more that I'm actually trying to get air. Because uh, I can, like, borderline not breathe most of the time. Luckily I'm not- no, luckily I don't have to mouth breathe, because, good lord, that would just suck the times that I have gotten actually proper sick and have had to breathe through my mouth instead of my nose. God, my whole body just hurts. Because everything just dries out. It's so, so bad. But, um, yeah, look. Uh, it's been five, six years, I think, ish, since the diagnosis. At least when you have an answer, you can get treatment. Uh, and I, yeah, that's kind of... <laughs> Focus on the positives. Um, middle of a worldwide pandemic, I feel like symptoms. Yes, first person is totally a druggie. That's the first idea that could cause this. Look, look, I. There are so many people who come in here, um, and I mean, I think the worst kind of ones I've had is blow your nose, you sniffly bitch. Shit, like you know, like actual proper, like, insults rather than ha 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 druggy. Um, but look, it's, um, yeah. It's basically kind of, you know, my whole, <laughs> if you, if, I know it's annoying, trust me, it annoys me more than it annoys you. Uh, if it annoys you that much, feel free to find somebody else to watch. I will not be offended. Everyone has a bar like, a boundary of how much they can take. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a choice. <laughs> like, literally, I've done everything that I can possibly do without having someone shove a camera up my face to see if there's something inside there. <laughs> um, because my doctor has basically said it's just not worth it. Um, all my specialists have said it's not worth it. They're just like, yep, yeah, that's just part of what you've got. You're gonna have to uh, suck it up. Uh, and to be perfectly honest with you, I would rather have a permanent sniffly nose uh, than be unable to walk, which is what was going on when I was first diagnosed. I, I couldn't walk. So, uh, I will take this symptom and I will not take the other symptom. <laughs> Lesser of two evils. Uh, cool, alright. Are you ready for the epic journey? Um... Don't know if it was just the sheer amount of islands I was doing, or if the drop rates were bugger, but I only had two mounts, and then the first two weeks in Island Patch got the rest of them. I did non-stop islands for two weeks, good lord. Good lord. Yeah, I do them like for a few hours once a week and I'm done. They're just... look. Having people to chat to, and having like having chat there and stuff is a lot... makes things a lot easier. It distracts me. But I've just had such terrible luck with these. Terrible, terrible luck. Uh, just a quick one. Have you ever tried taking antihistamine, centrazine, centirazine? Uh, sinus is a bugger as well. It seems to have a very good remedy for it. Every single thing that I have tried, I've tried everything that's available uh, over the counter and available with a prescription in Australia because I have a GP and two different specialists uh, and they've given me everything that they possibly can. Uh, the only thing that worked with this was a steroidal nasal spray and it worked for about 30 to 45 minutes. And then it was exactly back to where it was. We'll get the detector um, and the cost of, like, even though, I mean, this is Australia, every, like, a lot of shit is subsidized. Um, our healthcare is pretty damn good. Um, we don't have, you know, like, if we have meds that cost thousands of dollars a month, there's usually subsidies we can benefit from. But, um, like, the fact that I was going through a bottle or two of these, like, every three or four days, 
Um, and not only that, but inhaling that much steroid is really fucking bad for you. <laughs> so, um, so when I when I told my doctor, like he's like, all right, how, how did it go? And I'm like, yeah, it worked. He's like, oh, fucking awesome, fantastic. My doctor swears with me. He's like, yeah, it's good. Um, and I'm like, yeah. And then 30 or 45 minutes later, I think the longest it took to kick back was an hour. And he was like, oh, yeah, we can't have you using this every 30 minutes. Like you will, you will be not well. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know. Um, so yeah, it just. Uh, unfortunately, it is just is the way my body is, um, and because it's not, like, life-threatening or hugely detrimental, it doesn't affect my life. It doesn't, it doesn't make me, make it harder to live, you know, it doesn't prevent me from working, it doesn't prevent me from going outside, it doesn't prevent me from, from living. Um, there's, there's, it's not worth, it's not worth diving in and, and trying to do anything funky because there is more chance of doing something bad. Uh, then there is a fixing it. So, no. Can't do. Uh, I don't remember all the names of all the things I've tried, because it's a very long list. Unfortunately. But yeah, it's, um... Fun times. So interesting because I've been dealing with watery eyes. Doctors can't find a reason for literally two years. Wipe my eyes every eight minutes. Nobody's ever mentioned it. Yeah, it's because it's not audible. Sniffling is audible, curse. Um, and people get irritated by hearing things. It's like, you know, people who are irritated by hearing the noise of chewing or, or whatever. If you wipe your eyes, you, you can't hear it. I mean, I've also had people, like, ask me why I'm blinking so much. So, you know, maybe it's just because I'm me. <laughs> maybe I'm just one of those people who attracts, uh, like... Bodily complaint. I don't even know what the name of it would be, but yeah, look. It's a... It's a thing. Uh, Fia, I'm curious. Are you prone to nosebleeds as well? No. My sinus is fucked up. Tend to get bleeds when I get too warm. No, um, if I... When I get bleeds, like, I have... Occasionally I get a nosebleed, but I'm, I'm not prone to them. Like, I'll, I'll get them very rarely. Like, if I've got a really... Like, if I get sick, like, sick sick, I know I'm, you know, like, I have baseline level of sick, which I am always. And then I get like sick. <laughs> when I get sick, um, if my nose is like, if I can't breathe through my nose and so I'm trying to blow it and all that kind of stuff, um, if I blow it too much, it'll bleed, but it won't be from my sinuses. It's it's always just like from, from my actual like fleshy nose bit. Um, so yeah, no, I'm definitely not prone to nosebleeds. I only ever get them when I irritate my nose and piss it off. <laughs> Can't understand why people link it to drugs so fast. The internet. I thought you just had a cold. Still sorry to hear though. Ah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, it's because it's the internet and people think they're funny. Basically. And there's like, you know, there's, there's the reactions like I call them out on it and they apologize, which is good. Or I call them out on it and they just don't say anything and they disappear into the ether. Or I call them out on it and they fucking flip at me and then they get banned. That's the fun one. Jas and Shiba like that one because they get to exercise their swords. <laughs> Minus sinus is a shit. My issue at the moment is this cough. I have coughing fits every now and then and can only do so much to care help but they still happen. Oh god. Coughing fits are the worst. Especially like when you, like it's, it's not just a tickle. Like you cannot help but cough. Like it's a reflex. And your body won't stop coughing for long enough for you to draw a goddamn breath. Like, it's, oh, you actually feel like you're dying. It's the worst feeling. I'm so sorry. All right, I hope you're feeling better soon, hey. I really hope that you feel better soon. Because that just sucks. Something easy to kill. <laughs> ah, steroids are so disgusting. You puked every time from using them. They weren't too bad. Like, I, the, the big issue I had with the steroid spray was that it felt like a million tiny needles going into my face. Um, and it was the kind of one where I had to like lean over and like cross over, like do the, the X shape. So I had to go up this nostril and like, like, like breathe all the way out. And then, and then like, like it was great. Yep. <laughs> and then do the other side and then do the first side again. And then the other side again. And it would only last half an hour. And I'm like, fuck this. Yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> it was not a fun time. It was, it was not, a, I just, oh, I was so angry at the world. I was just like, can I, oh, 
Why me? But it's fine. It's, it is what it is. And you know, you get dealt a handful of cards and life is how you play them. Um, you can the way I do it. I have to take my glasses off. Ah, oh, interesting. Maybe it's not like an irritating sound to people. I know, I know like sniffling is an irritating sound to some people. Um, like, and I, I get that. I, I totally get it. And I respect that, you know? You're allowed to be irritated by a noise. Um, but, like, I can't fucking change it, so. <laughs> um, and I'm not gonna turn the stream off because someone is irritated by my sniffling. They are welcome to leave. But no, uh, it's... Who knows? Who knows why I purse? Who fucking knows? Get it? Knows? Cause, yep. Yeah. Cool. I'm glad you understood. I'm hilarious. Uh, I don't get people who ask them kind of questions though. What does it matter to them if you blink a lot, for example? Um, because they're curious or because it's irritating them in some weird way. Uh, some people are just dickheads uh, and they want to like, you know, poke at anything that they think might get a reaction. Um, like th there are countless reasons why someone might ask about that kind of stuff. Um, or they think you're weird for doing it and they want to, uh, you're weird. Why the fuck do you keep doing that? Oh my God, you're so weird. Uh, but you know, each to their own. If that's their, if that's how they have fun, um, then I mean, who am I to judge, I guess? <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Ah, uh, sounds so irritating. It's annoying. It just reminds me of my old boss who had a Colombian cold. Just reminded me of that. Yeah, look, it's, um, so, uh, I'm not sure where you're from, Chell, uh, but in Australia, cocaine is very illegal. Um, and so, jumping on the internet and, like, implying that someone we are almost done. is you using an illicit ready. substance uh, can get a whole lot of people in a whole lot of shit. Um, it's just, it's not generally a good insinuation to make, especially about a stranger who you've never interacted with before and it's like your first chat message. Uh, as I'm sure you've gathered, it doesn't exactly leave a fantastic first impression. <laughs> um, but I'm I'm pretty open with my medical shit, so um, it's, yeah. Yeah, it just, it's just something to kind of be careful of. I know a lot of people don't think about this kind of stuff from the other side, but um, like, you can literally report a stream for anything. It doesn't, like, you can place false reports and stuff like that. I mean, if you do it a lot, you'll get yourself suspended or banned or whatever. Um, but, like, I just recently, um, fun facts, if you're in Germany specifically, just Germany, um, they have a a law known as Netz, D Netz DG, N-E-T-Z uh, DG. Uh, and so any time that a report is made against a stream from Germany... Twitch has to um, uh, Twitch has to assess that report not only against their own community guidelines but against the Nets DG guidelines as well because uh, it's part of German law. And so if if you my stream is being shown in Germany, Roic. Hello, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a wonderful day. How is your stream? Tell us all about it. Um, right. So um. If, if a streamer is violating, if, if there's content that violates NetzDG, that content can't be shown in Germany. Nowhere else. It's, it's everywhere else is fine. But in Germany specifically, it gets censored, basically. Uh, so the other part of the law for NetzDG is that if you are assessed against these NetzDG guidelines, even if you are found to not be in violation, you must be notified that your shit's been checked. A lot of people don't know that part. So I got an email telling me that my stream had been reported and that I was fine and I hadn't broken anything, but because of the framework, I had to be told. So people report people for stupid shit all the time, right? The problem is if something comes up where a stream, like someone is, is talking about a streamer doing something illicit or illegal or whatever, and they don't directly refute it, they can get in trouble for it. So it's kind of, yeah. <laughs> gotta make sure I don't lose my income. Don't, gotta make sure I don't fuck my business over. Um, 
yeah, the fun world of streaming. It's a fucking shit fight, let me tell ya. Uh, recently got diagnosed with chronic sinus inflammation after an MRI. The ear, nose, and throat doctor told me all I could do really is take my allergy med nasal spray and do a nasal rinse. It sucks. Yeah, absolutely. The worst bit is the, the nasal douches. Like the bottle with the nozzle on it and the straw in it and you've got to like fill it with like body temperature water and saline and shit. And you got to like lean over the sink and open your mouth and be like, and put it like up your nostril, like shove it as far up your nostril as you can and then just like gently squeeze it. And the water goes in up through your sinuses and then it's supposed to come out your other nostril or sometimes out the back of your throat because it's all connected, right? Um, and it li you can't breathe because your sinuses are full of water, but you can breathe through your mouth. So it literally feels like you're drowning, except you can breathe. It is the, probably the weirdest sensation I've ever experienced. And I've had stitches in my gums. So like, yeah, <laughs> it's weird. It's so weird. After someone bonk, you get that. I was just from coughing fits. Side effect of chemo I had years ago. Damn, exactly what it nearly made me puke every single time. Leave a disgusting aftertaste. Oh, yes, the taste down the back of your throat. Oh, fuck that shit. God, it was horrible. Horrible. Don't blame me for passing on that one. Sounds positively awful. Is not fun. Is not fun. Toughest burdens on the strongest shoulders, I guess. Well, you don't know how strong you are until you have to face a burden like that, though. That's the thing. I mean, like, I've there are people who have faced far more intense shit than I have. Far, far, far more. Um, by the way, I'm currently uh, five minutes behind on chat. I will get to people. I promise I'm not ignoring you. I just respond to everything. Um, but no, you don't know how strong you are until you have to be strong. You, you, you may well survive far, far, far more than you know, but you won't know until you have to know, and I really hope you don't ever have to know. Uh, Mike is closer to the nose and the eye, even if you make a noise. Actually, mine's closer to my eyes than my nose, because it's up above me. Um, uh, I don't know if it ever gave you the final update or not. My face is like all the way better now. Yay! It's getting frustrating when you get paralyzed. I'm pretty sure you'd post it in Discord, yeah. Ah, uh, everyone's weird. Makes the world interesting. Correct. I have had people ask why I press my lips together so much. Like, they noticed that. Yep. Yep. Good morning, Hendrix. From the UK, just as bad as Oz. First impressions of mainstream. <laughs> uh, it's my third son. Thunder's getting well playing. Well done, Yori. Well done. They sell pretty well, though. They sell pretty well. Ah! Welcome on in, Zev. Here we go. I've just hit the raid. Fantastic. Thank you for the cast of Command Shiva. Much appreciated. Hello, Light Healer. Hello, Roic. How are you going? How was your stream? A mega raid. Welcome, raiders, indeed. Hello, hello. It was good. Did a lot of keys. Excuse me. Carried some 20s for people. Got some portals. Fantastic. Awesome. That's awesome to hear. I still don't have KSM because reasons. It's just trying to find time to run keys has been... A fucking shit fight. I'm just too busy. It sucks. Ah, uh, well, the guinea pigs are out of control. Aww. They're adorable. Honestly, this is information I did not know, and as a previous German resident, I have a good amount of Germans in my community. I guess I need to behave a little better. Nah, if you, well, that's the thing. If they're not reporting, you don't get the emails. Um, it's only when people specifically from Germany, and the thing is, if they do report you, and you haven't violated community guidelines, but you have violated NetsDG, that VOD is geo-blocked from Germany. That's it. That's all that happens. The VOD is geo-blocked from Germany, nothing else. And any clips that happen to be like from there, also geo-blocked from Germany, but that's it. Nothing else. Super weird, huh? Obviously, if you've also violated community guidelines, then you, you're done fucked up. But if it's if you if you're fine by the community guide because they don't match up there are there are things that can't you can't do with NetCG that are fine by the community guidelines so yeah it's yeah interesting it's really weird and gross feeling agreed um, also NetCG is pretty recent I think oh, it's only like summer. 2019 or something like it's super super recent um, ah Zalanthus thank you so much for your prime sub thank you that is so kind of you so I should queue for another one I'm so sorry Ari I did whoop. I just realized I'm just sitting here fucking chatting to people. Uh, <laughs> how does someone have 4k alt score? Is that like 50 level 60s? No, 50 60s is 3000. Uh, 4k is two accounts, minimum. Uh, I get a shit taste down my throat when I use eye drops. Yeah! All your face shit is so, like I used it when I was younger. 
when I was younger, um, I had a couple of ear infections that got really, really bad. Like I wasn't prone to them. They weren't recurring. But when it, when it did happen, it was really bad. And when it started to get better and I would be, I'd have the eardrops, my eyes would start getting glazed over and feel kind of cold and weird. And then my nose would get super sif sniffly and then I'd have a horrible taste at the back of my mouth, back of my throat. Because all this shit, baby, it's all fucking connected. It's like, how, how many pipes can we fit in the face? Oh, not that many. We have to connect them then. Whoops. But also, welcome to chat, Never. <laughs> Took me a couple of weeks to finally try it out because it was so intimidating. Just squirt water up my nose! Yeah, it, I, I, I did it once, and I was like, I don't want to do it again. I think I did it again, because it did... It did help, but again, it wasn't for very long. I think if if I wanted to get like serious benefit from it, I'd have to do it fucking daily. And dude, no, no, it would. It just took too goddamn fucking long to prep the solution to get it to the right temperature. Like, oh, it was just such a fucking shit fight. And you got like you have to either boil water and then let it cool down to body temperature. Or you have to use like bottled water and, and it's like, dude, that's expensive. Cause obviously you can't go squirting just regular old tap water up your nose because then whatever's in the in the tap is now in your nose and that shit will grow because that is a dark and moist environment and then you're gonna be dead. <laughs> so like, don't do that. Uh, I doubt there's anyone with a 4K IO score this season. Not talking about IO, we're talking about alt score, which uh, on Data for Azeroth, uh, which is the total number of levels you have across all of your characters. Um, but welcome to chat, Thrats. Oh, Thratsa. Thratsa. There is an R on the end of there. Good. Thank you, Brain. You read correctly. Ah, uh, no, I was going, yes. Alt score. Sorry. Uh, Data for Azeroth. Yes. With eight dungeons. Hell no. fifties. Yes. Never either. Yeah, I think I'm up. What am I on? 18, 22. I'm not too far off, but like... Fuck, man. You know, just fuck. I don't have time, like, ever. And then when I do have time, none of my streamer friends are online doing viewer keys. It's like, fuck! Yeah, oh well. Oh well, case in your stays for exactly 2k. Nice purse, well done. Love your cookie. Monster chair makes me want one. This is chair. Chair is the most supportive member of the community. Honestly, I wouldn't put a past them to report me whenever I talk about how I hate donuts. Uh, it's cheating. Uh, did you get my mounts? No, still on three. Three for the day. Oh, I'm getting just in time for the talk about air infections. Yes, younger girl, she's not even 30, I bet. I'm turning 32 in about two and a half weeks. Um, sound more British than you do Australian? I have an English father. He moved across when he was, I think he was still single digits, but like seven or eight or something like that. Uh, and so he still has an English accent. Well, not a full on, full on English ac accent, but uh, when I was a baby, he did. Uh, so when I learned to speak from him, um, I learned how to say words with his accent. Um, also obviously picked up my mother's accent as well. And she's got far more of an Australian accent, but it's still not Bogan, it's not Ocker. Uh, none of my family speaks Oka, so so I never picked it up, and I'm honestly kind of glad about that because anyway. Um, the mouth is rare is called Dank Scale. Yeah, I've killed that one a couple times. Oh fuck off, Lottie. Red die. Yeah, CT scan. That's a red fit. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Contrast is weird. I don't like contrast. Ah, uh, NT said I have to do it daily, surrounded by my allergens. Yep, I have to buy the distilled water. He told me to microwave it for 20 seconds. It works though. That's so good to hear that it works. I'm so glad. That's great news. Nothing worse than going through all these goddamn hoops and steps and then it doesn't fucking do anything. 1999. Oh my god, Chibi, you're so close! You need to do like, okay. Less than a level from being done with the stupid alliance, Pally, but uh. <laughs> um. 
Having a father, what a flex. I mean, most people have two contributors to their DNA. Ah, uh, happy pre-birthday over there. Thank you. Much appreciated. Yeah, it's my, my birthday and my six-year stream anniversary, like, in the same month. So February, look, we've, we've taken to referring to February as fucked up February, because there's just so much on my plate that's going to happen. I'm, I'm going to die. It'll be fine. On YouTube, I've never heard of that person, sorry, Chell. Um, cool. Yeah, fucking alliance. so much for the resub. Hope you're having a lovely day. So generous of you. It's finally time to 31 key granite it was in Necro Wake. Still time to 31. That's awesome. Well done them. Any mounts today? Three new ones. Three new mounts. Uh, so I got Hunter Akana's mount from Najatar on Alliance side and then that unlocked the equivalent on Horde side, so that's two. And I got my last uh, Lost Razorwing Egg. Uh, so that's the third mount. So no no actual drops, but you know, just uh, culminations of months of work. Because I only do mount farming once a week. We did a lose, we did. We did. That was an absolute shit fight of a battle. That's okay. It happens. Let's give it another try. This will be our last battle for the day as well. Ah, oh, I don't have the patience to do another dungeon. Whip tail farming to 50. Yas! Kick its butt, purse. Do the thing. That's right. Hopefully that will have dropped. Um, we are almost done. You are doing well. Drop the number of units on the map a little. So it might make it a little bit easier for us. We'll see. I'm sure. Oh, there's a lot of enemies. It was! Shitload of enemies. Need more units. So, follow the link in chat. Log in with your Twitch account. And drag and drop your units to the battlefield. Doesn't matter what level they are. We'll happily take even level ones. Just drop whatever you got. Play a game, game of numbers. And if you've missed the link, if it's scrolled too far off your screen by now, you can type exclamation battle to bring the link back up. Wait, right, today you got both Gul'dan Infernals in the same run. Holy fuck, Berries. Holy shit, that's amazing. Lucky them. Haven't got another mount since last year in July. Ooh, sounds like you're going for the wrong ones. That sucks. Mm-hmm. Got 71. I'm gonna take a very quick bathroom break. I do have a chair stream still in my redemptions. I will be back shortly. Run away, little girl! Run away!
an illusion. What are you hiding? Let me confer with my sources. No. Hi, I'm back. So, Zuri, let's ah, do this. It's you. Um, oh. last mount I got besides Necrobate Mount was the Xmog Mount. There you go. From the 663 attempts, I believe, for doing Karazan every week on eight tunes. Oof, youch. The very first time I brought my Paladin to Kara in first PC when it came out. And then RNG sucks in this game. Well, it it doesn't. RNG works accurately. <laughs> um, like, there, there are amounts that some, like, you know, one person will get a mount first go, and someone else will take 300 attempts to get it. But then those same people will flip their luck on a different mount. Like, that's, that's how RNG works. Um, 200 plus attempts on both Karazhan mounts and over 100 on all Dragon Soul mounts. Yeah, but like, I mean, they're also like a 1 in 100 chance. So you're going, like, if you get it within the first 100 kills, that's lucky. Like, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, yeah. Mount hunting is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> like, these are apparently 1% drop chances, but I've had, I've done 300, this is my 350th um, fucking island. And I've had, I think, one mount actually drop from islands. The rest of them I bought from salvage crates. You know, it's, yeah. It's not easy. It's not easy. And don't even get purse started on Ashes of Alar. <laughs> there you go. Yep, Pond Nettle. That one's a 1 in 2,000. It took me 4,713. Nearly two and a half times what it should have. It sucked, but I did it, and I got it. it felt awesome. So that's my account. In season one, I got back-to-back -back fog storms from here on my demon hunter. Uh, that command. Ooh, I don't know. Do we have one for that? Ooh. Uh, it was 304 attempts for the male muncher, though. Over three times. It's a, it's a 1 in 100 spawn chance. And then it's a 100% drop rate once you get it to spawn, but it's 1 in 100. 1% spawn chance. And it took me 304 attempts. Um, 400 attempts to get the rest of the mechanical from making us, but I don't have that one yet. Although my attempt numbers are pretty low on that, so... Um, yeah. But like, yeah, look, sometimes you have shit luck, but then on other ones you have really, really fucking good luck. The more mounts you farm, the more you'll have bad luck on, and the more you'll have good luck on. It's, <laughs> it's how it works. Right, Warhorse took 2,563. Three or four mounts from islands doing them casually. See, there you go. I've been pounding away at these, and fucking nothing. 
And then you get them casually. Exchange of luck. Hey, Kylie, how you doing? Make sure to get rest for that first try. There you go. My mate Pew clipped that bond nettle. Let's see like your mouth shoulders from Garrosh. On the other hand, oof, youch. Yeah, okay, look. <laughs> oh, I thought we had a male muncher one. No, we did not. We have camel though. Um I will horse my held in very first round. See. Something for me on the shoulders. Oh, camel, yes, there's camel as well. Yep, 304 attempts. So um every every vision you get five attempts because there's five mailboxes. Um, so you can do the math. How many runs I fucking did. But yeah, it was the second to last mailbox. Uh, and you bet your ass I did not finish that run. I fucking skipped right out of that bitch. <laughs> like a super bored, I go farm KT for the mounts, but I don't think I've ever been that bored in a long time. Uh, I, uh, I have my plan of attack with my mounts. So Data for Azeroth allows you to sort mounts from most common to least common, like highest percentage of profiles who have it to lowest percentage of profiles that have it. Uh, and then you can filter out collected and collected on alt. So what you end up with is a list of mounts you don't have uh, in order from most common to least common. And my brain says that if it's common, if it's more common, that should mean it's easier to get, right? So uh, I work my way from top to bottom of the list. Granted that list is 204 mounts long, but I'm working my way through slowly but surely. Um, got all the dragon soul mounts in less than 10 runs. Still don't have a Nixia. Differing luck. Ain't it amazing. We had predictions going during the mail bunch runs too. Yeah, it was do is it going to drop on this on this run out of these five mailboxes? And when it dropped, good fucking god, was I happy. Next I haven't heard that name in a long time. It was the first rare mount I got. Nice. Didn't even know there was a mount. Click the mailbox and it spawned. Yes, so many people have that same story, hey. Yeah, I went and went and had a hunt for it, and it look, it took me a little while. That's alright, we got there. It was great fun. Remember when it was hard to get the Black Drake? We had to DPS down the main boss before the three Drakes landed. Black Drake went first roll in there and Wrath, it was epic. That's awesome. Hey, we have got a lot of Azerite over here. You had best check it out. I don't remember if like I, I definitely got it when it was current. I got it during like I got it when it was the um when we got the achievement. Um, but I don't remember if it was the first kill or not. I don't remember. But yeah, I, uh, got that back in the day as well. Uh, best moment with the mount was when I was in Discord with my friend. He killed Ragnaros and was like, dude, it will give me the mount here. I give you $200 if I don't get it. And it dropped. Oh, dear. I, um, Rag's mount doesn't track properly in rarity. Rags mount doesn't track properly in rarity, uh, and so it also doesn't pop up the window properly. It doesn't do the do the screenshot. It doesn't do the all that kind of stuff because it doesn't track it properly. Um, it's it's connected to the Ragnaros kill statistic in your achievements panel, but the Ragnaros kill statistic in your achievements panel doesn't function. It it's broken. Um, it's, it's the Blizzard API is fucked, so Rarity need to fix it. I don't, they may, they may have fixed it by now, but back when I was doing the runs, I had to manually update every time I did a run. Uh, and because I was talking to chat, and because I was doing it on stream, um, uh, I, like, we were just, I was on my priest, and I killed it, and I'm chat, 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 chatting, um, and killed it, went in and updated the number. And uh, I don't know what it was, but I had to read through the chat log for some reason. I'm like, wait a second. What the fuck is that? Open my bags and it's sitting there. So that was interesting. We 
are almost done. You are doing well. Um, does Mim's head exist? Yes, I have it. Um, I'm too worried for my sister. I can't wipe my spans. The hull is full. Unfurl the sails and head for home. Yeah, I've got Mim's head. Uh, it was my luckiest week in mount farming um, that I've ever had. So it was during Hallow's End. You can see where I'm going with this. It was during Hallow's End. Uh, Monday, on the mount farm Monday, I had Invincible drop. The Tuesday, I had Headless Horseman's mount drop. And then during the rest of the week, I spent time moving, I think it was like 17 characters that I had at the time, moving them over to Ulduwa, um, getting ready for Mem's head. And then it dropped on the Monday. Seven attempts. Yeah. And I was like, I have 10 fucking tunes I moved over for no reason. <laughs> but yeah, it definitely exists. Uh, I don't know how many TCG cards I bought before the mother magic rooster egg. My shadow priest loved it. Love that all characters can use it now for sure. Man, that would suck. And updating it would be a pain. Lucky with violence. Got both mounts in like 20 attempts. Nice. Um, would out HPS the DPS on my just priest in panel lower highest HPS twenty one K shy of one million. Uh, hey, Tom, doing well. How are you going? I meant to add reduces it for an old again. I've had it drop two more times. Do you like tea or coffee? I don't drink coffee. I only drink tea. How about you? you know what, I'm gonna run old now. You should. You Can should. you taste the salt in the air? Now you are old. Should. Aw, thanks, Kylie. I appreciate that. It was really fun. This one was a really fun look to put together. I enjoy it. Oh dear. I'm a sleepy. Doubloons. The fuck, man. This bucket of bolts can't fight. The fuck. But it can still explode. Gather the gizmos we need to get it up and running. Mm, has it almost 4 a.m. already. Um, magic. Hey, cast. How you going? Welcome back. That look on your Insta. No, not yet, because the looks on my Insta are ones that I have done already, and then, like, I can stitch the photos together and blah blah blah. Um, so, no, I, I don't stick them up immediately. There's, there's a lot more work that goes into it than that. So, no. Uh, unless you count my, like, my story. Like, my Instagram story, where I'm, like, talking about what I'm gonna do on stream today, and the, the fact that I'm live. Um, it's there, but it's not, like, on my feed, no. Uh, two. Oh. Nerdizen sent tea and coffee made in Taiwan to Australia a month ago. Hope you likes. Huh? Nerdizen sent tea and coffee made in Taiwan to Australia a month ago. Did someone guess today's mount? They did! They did. Pretty sure it was Yori, wasn't it? No, Meaty maybe. Fuck, I don't know. One of the two. I'm. Look, my brain is bad. Um, but. It's. It was the Amber Scorpion. Trip trick on Taiwan coffee to people from more countries in the future. Brilliant! Yeah, I, I don't drink coffee at all. Um, I like the smell, but I dislike the taste. Sure they're on a roll. It was meaty today. Cool. Alright, awesome. Thank you for confirming. I am... Colander.
It's like hot drinks. That will go to town on a salted caramel mocha from Starbucks. Find you first. The elements are against us today. Yellow. Probably after the same thing we are. Uh, she just can't remember. Are you Canadian or American? Shiba is Canadian. We done already. Get her! I did. I mushed her. Sneaky little shit. You yeah, know where this goes. Is Tim Hortons big in your area? Yeah. He has fucking trash ever since an American company bought it. Why does that not surprise me? The number of times, like, international companies have bought Australian icons and turned them into shit. It's like they don't understand that they are icons because of the good quality ingredients. If you try to cheap out to make more profit, you will destroy the icon and no one will purchase it. Ye numpties. Change literally everything. Order. Funnily enough, McDonald's ended up buying out Timmy's old better coffee recipe. That's funny. It's like two hours, I think. Tunnel bus from Detroit to Windsor. I've never been to either country. And I won't be for a while. <laughs> That's for sure. We are almost done. You are doing well. Yeah, what does your top say? Stream like there's nobody watching. Ready for nine two? I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Sure, probably will be. I don't know. I, I don't really do anything to prepare for patches. Like I don't really need to. Um, yeah. I just it's like oh new content. Yeah, let's go check out the storyline. Like, yeah. There's no no biggie. No biggie. Uh, yeah, no spoilers. Absolutely. Do you rate as well? No. Uh, used to do cutting edge rating. Um, CBF. Too much time commitment. Uh, I'm busy as fuck. And uh, too much uh, dealing with childish bullshit. And politics and, and snippiness and backstabbing and bullshit. It's just not worth it. Um, so 
occasionally I raid with a group of friends, um, but not like part of their official team or anything like that. I just kind of drop in if and when they'll have me and or when, when they need me and yeah, just kind of go from there. Uh, all right. 118. I reckon we got time for another one. Dazoku! Welcome, traveler! Um, so a casual reader, which is fair. I wouldn't even say casual, honestly. Like, it's it's less than casual. Um, yeah. Opportunistic, maybe. <laughs> um, if there's a group available and I'll jump in. Like, I got, I got my head of the curve. I got my ATC. Um, but... Like, I was mostly there to help the guild because they were they were short a couple hands, um, so like it was beneficial to them to to take me, and so I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll come with you. Um, yeah, whatever the step below casual is, but the step above I don't raid. Like, kind of somewhere between the two. Yeah. Um, last time I did CE rating was Wrath from the guild I was in, Kill Heroic 25 Minute and LK, which should never be the equivalent of Mythic Fresh version. Yep. Down, yep. We'll get the detector um, we never got our 25 LK kill because the guild leaders in their infinite wisdom decided to extend the luck out for three months. And so people burnt out and they quit. Uh, and we were a 16 hour guild. Uh, so four nights a week, four hours a night, uh, and yeah, people just not, they were not having it, and so people would make more mistakes because they were tired of it and all that kind of shit. Um, and yeah, so it was a poor decision by management, but it was what they, that, you know, they did what they did, and that's fine. Um, I did, uh, last CE I got was, uh, Wad. Was Archimond. And I rolled the highest on the first mount that we had dropped, which was great. So I got that, and then the next week uh, I got Black Hands mount. Because <laughs> we went back and toppled him too. Uh, to be honest, I just want to see the end of the jailer, to be honest. Sure. Sure. Alright, if and when you please, raiding. Yeah, but also like, you know, not just rocking up and being like, cool, take me to raid. Ah, uh, it's it's gotta benefit them as well. It has to be it has to be a mutually beneficial arrangement for them. Cause otherwise it's um and I, I really don't like I really don't like um like uh you know, they, they go weeks doing progression on a fight, blah 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 blah, and then I just kind of sweep in when they're like, you know, like, oh yes, next week is absolutely gonna be the kill, we're so fucking close, and then just kind of heading on in and getting the kill with them really easily. Like, I don't, I don't like doing that. Um, I don't, like, I want to earn it. I want to help them earn it. Um, earn my spot and all that kind of stuff. I just, maybe that's old school, but, uh, that's not how I roll. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I have to, I, I want to make sure that if I'm going to do that kind of stuff that it's going to be mutually beneficial. So I did, they did have weeks of progress before I went in with them, but I went in with them because they had a few people drop off. Uh, and it wasn't that they dropped below 10, they were still well above 10, peop uh, 10 people and they were fine to do heroic, but um, it was just a better balanced group and it was they had more chance of succeeding if I was in the group with them. Uh, so I did. Uh, I wasn't the strongest, but I wasn't the weakest. Uh, I pulled my weight and um, did brought all my own consumables and shit because they're on a different server. So, so they couldn't give me anything. Uh, except the, the um, potion cauldrons. Uh, I think they occasionally dropped a feast. Um, but yeah. Uh, it, was, uh, it was good fun. I really enjoy raiding with them. They're a really lovely group of people. And then not having to deal with like the daily sort of guild management BS. Just, oh. The, the CE guild I mentioned uh, in Warlords, I was co-GM of. And I just never again. I'm done. I'm so done with organized raiding. Like, so fucking done. So fucking done. Um, 
It's kind of dirty, but Sue. I just casually read and couldn't be asked, as you said, backstabbing bitchiness off other than you get gear. Yep. It's it's like herding, like, guild management is like herding teenage cats. They talk back, they're snarky as shit, and they refuse to do what you want them to. Like. My favorite part is when they actively sabotage an attempt as, as a form of malicious compliance. It's like, but why? Do you want to kill the boss? No? Okay, cool. Bye then. Why are you here? Like, why are you here if you don't, like, ugh. I fucking hate, like, adults who behave as children just drive me batty. But that's fine. I don't associate with any of them anymore. <laughs> I'm happy doing what I'm doing. I really enjoy WoW. Like, I, re I love playing WoW. And, uh... That's a good thing. I, I like it here, you know? I think that's what's important. Doing something in your leisure time, it, it needs to be enjoyable. You have to enjoy it, otherwise what the fuck is the point? Ah, uh, cleared everything each week till we got the kill with the gig. See, look at this we all died at 10%. What the fuck did we hit in Rage or something? No one could release. Yeah. Yeah, nah, um, by the time we started resetting, everyone had everything we could have. There was zero upgrades left from the entire fucking raid. Everyone had Biss. Everyone had Biss. The only reason that, like, every, like, every single attempt, one person would screw up. One person, and it would cause a wipe. But when you've got 25 people in the group, that's 25 attempts that get screwed up by one person each time. So you, you could have one mistake in the entire four hour night, but if everyone had one mistake in the entire four hour night, then you wouldn't get the kill that day because everything would just wipe, 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 wipe. Um, but, and then people like, so my, my big thing with raiding is that like yelling and barking, I know there's a battle already, we're going to do it when this is finished. Um, like the big thing with raiding, like I know there are a lot of people who are quite aggressive with their raid leading strategies. Like they, they yell, they bark, they, they blame, they place blame a lot. Uh, and they kind of, you know, get aggro and stuff. The problem is when you yell at people, they make more mistakes. Like legitimately, that is how humans work. If you yell at them, they will fuck up more. Um, so, uh, like, my my approach was always like, okay, what happened there? How do we prevent it from happening? How do we prevent it from happening again next time? Is it a connection thing, or or is it do do you need like do you need a weak aura? Do you need to update your add-on? Do you like what what do you need to not make that boo boo again, right? Um, and so, but back in Wrath, that was not, that was not how well. shit was run. Back in Wrath, if you were a raid leader, you yelled at people. <laughs> uh, and so people would make more mistakes. Uh, and then if you go back and back, like you're doing the same fight, you're, you're spending 16 hours a week doing the exact same strategy, the exact same fight over and over no, fuck, it's a recipe for burnout. It's guaranteed burnout. And that's what happened. Um, by the end of it, we had no bench. By the end of the by the end of the expansion, we had no bench. Uh, and we were just managing to scrape together the 25 of us, and we were not the correct composition, and we just couldn't kill it. Um, because that's what happens. That's what happens when you fucking yell at people and then demand that they do the same thing over and over and over again. Um, they, the, the raid leaders were lovely, lovely humans, and I raided with them for years after that. But it just, I think that particular period of time just got, kind of got to everyone. Um, there was some RL shit that was going on with some of the people and all that kind of stuff, and it just sort of, everything sort of snowballed. Uh, so we didn't get the kill, but that's okay. Um, we did get it on 10 man. Um, I was part of the group that managed to get it on 10 man. And, um, yeah. I learned a lot from that experience. Like I learned a lot about guild management and about um, the people management and, and all that kind of stuff. And I mean, fuck, that was wrath. What am I? I'm about to turn 32. So how 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 old was I at that point? Um, fuck, I would have been like in my teens, 18, 19, somewhere around there. Um, so yeah, it like I learned a lot, and I'm really appreciative for that experience. I, even though we didn't kill him, it was still like. 
Yeah. Um. Um. Should I follow your channel? That is entirely your own choice, Joe. Uh, I was stuck in a heroic progress guild. I really felt out of place. Now I work my way up, and I'm in another guild. Main taking nine and ten mythic bug. Brilliant. Congratulations. Uh, so have you always made mage or been other classes before as well? Nope, always mage. 15 years I've been playing World of Warcraft, and for 15 years I have made a mage. Uh, many whelps handle it. Another Thunderscale whelp link. Yeah, I've got a bunch of... Yeah, look. They all go into the guild bank and I stick one of them on the auction house at a time, and then when that sells I stick the next one up, etc. They're still pretty well though. He runs up! No, what? you're very welcome, Yuri. Thank you for coming along and making mine faster. Gordon Ramsay style raid link. Yeah, it doesn't work for everyone. Um, especially when you're all, you know, think about a whole bunch of like late teens, early 20s kind of people. <laughs> when they're all bullheaded and stubborn and you yell at them, they're gonna fucking bite back or they're gonna walk all like it's yeah. 2008 was Wrath. Was that release or the end of Wrath? Because ICC was the end of Wrath, so it would have been two years later at 2010, if that's the release. It's gonna be close. Well, this is the same map we had before that we lost. Um. Well, there we go. Okay. <laughs> that's not. That's not fun. We've got saints left, and saints aren't doing anything. I guess they can't attack that one. I guess the saints can't attack that particular one. Ah, uh, well. Yeah, specs, that was literally the battle. <laughs> um. Why was my message removed? Because it added, included the term raping. Which was caught by automod. I didn't see it because Jas grabbed it too quickly, but um, we don't use terms like that to describe fights and shit in here. That's just not okay. Um, we're not a bunch of 16-year-old boys. Like, <laughs> we choose our words carefully. Ah, uh, for the matter, you stayed alive for like five more seconds. Isn't that always the way, dupe? Isn't it always the way? Ah, uh, that's okay. Uh, I am going to keep playing, but we're not going to do another battle tonight. We'll come back and smack it tomorrow. Not tomorrow. What's the day? Today is Monday. When's the next one? Wednesday. Wednesday. Um, just considering that we're in an ad, it might be... You might need to tell Thrats uh, why their message was removed, because they can't hear me, because they're in an ad, potentially. Ah, uh, after bed. No, I'm finishing there, Yori. We're not... No more runs for me, either. <laughs> Thank you so much for doing the runs. Appreciate it. Uh, right. Okie dokie. Thank god. Yeah, no, it's it's past ten. Um, yeah, look, it's a thing. Um, boop! There we go. Pop that up. And I'm gonna go find somebody to love. Operations back from that. Good! I'm glad to hear. That's awesome. Um, ooh, I know where we're going. This is absolutely where we're going. Awesome. Okay. Right. So the place that we are going uh, requires your account to be verified to be able to speak, um, which most people will have a verified account. Um, but just as a heads up, if you haven't like verified your email address on your account, you're not going to be able to chat in this chat. Um, I have verified those. So if you can talk here, you'll be able to talk there. Uh, <laughs> it's not Tom, no. Um, cool. So, the rest of the month. The rest of the month, what we have to look forward to. On Wednesday, ah, we've got our community challenge stream. One of the community challenges we had in December unlocked a January WoW Secrets, uh, WoW Secrets stream. So, we're going to start off with uh, empowering Una, because I think I have to do that to be able to get Baal. Um, so, I'm going to do that first. Uh, and then we're going to go and knock over Baal and as many other ones as I possibly can because there, I think there are like six that I don't have. I don't know how long they take. We're going to fucking find out, shan't we? 
Uh, after that, on Friday, we have Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's launch day and I'm so excited. I'm really keen to have a look. I know that there is a lot of, um, there are feelings about this game uh, and I just want to see if it's fun. I want to see if I have fun playing it. I don't really give a shit what other people think. I just want to see if it's fun. Uh, <laughs> Sunday, we're diving back in with our transmog hunting. I hope that you'll join us for that. I'm going to see if I can run them as Ludapraiser challenges, but we had some issues doing that yesterday. My lack add on just kind of shat itself. I don't know what the hell happened, but I'll, look, we'll see. I'll, I'll go through and uninstall and reinstall and see if that helps. And then, of course, wrapping back around to the 31st of January, which is Mount Farm Monday, which also signifies the end of January which causes the beginning of fucked up February. Fucked up February. We have Lovers in the Air daily runs. Given that there are streams either side of that period of time as well, it's looking like I'm I'm going to be streaming 18 days in a row, 18 consecutive days uh, of stream, which will be great. Uh, it's also my six, six year anniversary of streaming. Six fucking years I've been streaming. What the shit? Uh, that's at the end of Feb, so we're gonna have a marathon stream for that. Um, I also have my own personal stuff going on. It's my birthday. It's my birthday next month. I'm turning 32. I don't like that. I'm turning 21. I'm kidding. Uh, God, I do not want to be 21 again, but, um, I would like to be like 25. 25 was right before my autoimmune condition kicked in. So 25 would be nice. So I have like enough wisdom, but not sick. That'd be good. I'd like that. Or if I could have like all my wisdom and knowledge from now in my body when I was like 23, 24, that'd be really good because my, my fucking knees and my brain and my sinuses and just my back. No, I, anyway, we're going to, it's my birthday next month. <laughs> it's my birthday. Um, I'm also going to hopefully, like everything allowing, I haven't seen my parents. I haven't seen any of my family in person since I since my 30th birthday. It's been two years. They all live in Melbourne. They've all been seeing each other as often as they can with the pandemic. Uh, I haven't seen anyone for two years. Um, I'm the only one who lives out of state. So uh, that sucks. But my mum and my stepfather are looking at visiting next month. So I get to hopefully crossing literally fucking everything. I hope I get to see them because holy fuck, that'll be good. Um, and I have my next appointment with my surgeon in February. Um, so I have to go get a, another x-ray or a CT. I think it's a CT scan actually. Now that I say that, I have to check my referral. Um, but it's a scan of my face uh, and then go into my surgeon uh, to talk about step two of surgery, which is putting the implant into my jaw, which is good. Um, so it's a big, it's a big. Let's just say, like, let's end the sentence there. It's a big. <sighs> um, so I appreciate your your gentleness <laughs> for next month and your um, putting up with me and all of my shit because it's going to be a big one. Um, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed today. I've enjoyed today. Three new mounts. Three new mounts. 634. It's not a bad number. 634. Um, I'm going to drop this in here. Wait. Uh, am I gonna to get the Perky Pug before Wednesday? Do we have six on site? Yes! Seven more randoms to group within heroic dungeons. Getting Arceus so hyped. Like, Adon doesn't like Elf UI. Oh, that's a bit shit. But I like Elf UI. Yay, fear. Go about 12 new trans items from those island rungs. Yay! 21 with 11 years experience. 11 Paragon caches unlocked. <laughs> oh, I like that. To level 30 in March, still feel like 25 too. I do not feel like 25. I wish I felt like 25, but that's okay. Thanks for stream. Thank you for being here, Serge. Uh, right, yes, so grab your copy paste. I'm gonna drop the actual. There we go. Um, I'm gonna grab my copy paste as well. Grab your copy paste. If you don't have the Fiamma Hype emote, either because you're not subscribed or because you haven't unlocked it with your channel points, both of which are totally fine. You can still copy and paste the entire message into Lacey's chat when we get there and then delete the part that says Fiamma Hype and pop in your favorite happy, uh, happy, hypey, celebratory emote uh, and drop it in her chat when we get there. Um, Lacey is a lovely human. We have a lot in common. Uh, our personalities are really quite complimentary and I always have a, an absolute blast whenever I talk to her. So I'm sure that you guys will love the vibe of her stream as well. Um, 
I'm gonna see you on Wednesday. Baby Baby Take care of yourselves. Be nice to each other. And I will see you on Wednesday. Of love. Mwah. Bye.